Bah. Hi. It's a Monday stream. We haven't done one of these in a while. I just couldn't stay away from the game. Uh oh, Augursley, Juba, Rival, Ilya, Siberia, Therns, Micah, Ikyo. Oh uh, yes, that's everyone so far. Yeah, I like the game a lot. <laughs> Wow, kind of came on a little early today. Usually I wait five minutes, five whole American minutes before popping up. But um, I went to the bathroom earlier, so I don't need to do it now. Usually the five minutes is to cover me being able to go to the bathroom and then come back. Something like fresh American ground minutes. <laughs> Hello spaces. And Pony Pui Pui, welcome. Graf. Graf, Graf. Graf, Graf. Hum. Well, I hope you're all doing well today on this Monday. This Monday day. We filled up another row on the trophy cabinet. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna be completely full up here before long, and I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> when when that happens. <laughs> do I just start a new trophy cabinet? Or just keep making them smaller and smaller and <laughs> adding more and more on until it's like completely illegible? Only one more row until no more games. Yeah, it's sad to think about. We'll have to quit. They're gonna fire me from Twitch. They're gonna come to my house and stick me like a pig. It's too bad. Just layer them on top of the old ones. Oh god. <laughs> Could you make them like rotate or something? You mean like uh, as I'm talking, like fade in and out? Mm, I guess it's possible. I don't really know. I don't know. I guess I can make it. Oh man, but that would be so annoying. I was saying I could make it a GIF uh, <laughs> where they fade in and out of each other, but that would I would have to make a new GIF every time. Every time. Graphic sacked by Jeff Benson. Yep. He's gonna hit me with his sack and I'll fucking die on impact. <laughs> Giant mass of images. A bookshelf with the games on it. Like spine facing forward. Ah, uh, that's kind of illegible though. I like it with the art because then people see like the art for the games and they go what the fuck is that and then they might go look up the VOD or something or look into the game themselves <laughs> hey Laika hello how are you doing today and Sweet spy how are you make another trophy cabinet but then a trophy cabinet cabinet <laughs> chaos put them on a rotating tray <laughs> A rare Monday stream. Yeah, we haven't done a Monday stream in a long time. For a while I was doing them on Discord, but then I just kind of stopped doing that because I wanted to have a day off in the week, but um, I don't know. I don't want to wait another week to play Shadowgate. <laughs> I just want to keep playing it really badly. <clears throat> New BGM? Yeah, we played this uh, the past two days, I think, but uh, a lot of people don't get here very early, like because it's usually only like ten or fifteen minutes that this is uh, that this is on. It's really quiet. Yeah, I, I turned it down because because I'm talking. I always turn the BGM down. You really like this one? I wrote this maybe like four, five, five, maybe like five years ago. I don't know, maybe more. I, I just dug it up and I was like, hey, I could just play this. Because it's not anything that I ever played on SoundCloud or anything. I put on SoundCloud. Hey Ash, how are you? Music has like hardcore PSX UI mood. Thank you. Uh, most of the sounds in this song, aside from the drums, are sampled from Kingsfield 4. Um... 
Hypocrisy redeemed, Awu. You're at work? It's slow? No. Oh. Well, at least you're not having to deal with any gamers. You want to buy guns from an underground gun seller who is a dog? <laughs> oh, it's that one. Remember you talking about this years ago and being like, can I hear it? And you were like, hee hee, no, yeah. <laughs> this is the song that I described as the the Siscon Kingsfield Deep Deep House track. <laughs> I think this is one of the better songs that I've written, but it's not really complete. I don't consider it complete. Um It there's parts of it that I would like to fix up but I just have always every time I go back to it I just listen to it and then I go yeah I'm good and then I just I stop I don't work on it anymore <laughs> this has been the case for like four or five years now I have some other like partially finished songs that might get played eventually there was one that I only played on here like one time <laughs> Like in the middle of, uh, like the intro or something. There's a gamer in the store, but you're kind of chilling while he browses. You've made good sales today, so you're not stressing. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're feeling better as well. Huh. No good to be sick. Get him to watch the stream with you, yeah. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Well, why don't we just go ahead and start the game? I keep, uh, I think it's because my microphone is so close to my face and it's also kind of right in front of the Twitch chat, but uh, it's like, I can't focus my eyes on the Twitch chat. Uh, <laughs> I get like really confused, I can't read. Because my eyes want to focus on the microphone. Didn't know I made tunes? Yeah, uh, all of the music that's been on stream, like the intro tracks, those are, um, I wrote all of those. I also made the weird, if you ever wonder what those weird sounds are for the alerts, I made all of those as well. <laughs> You're feeling all right? A little bleh, but all right? Oh, well, we'll be back to 100% very soon. Really like the new profile picture everywhere. Yeah, it was a little like, you know what? My old one, I liked it when I made it, but then it started to remind me of that, that soy face meme of that guy, the guy doing that. And uh, then I was, I started to get more and more aggravated by it. And then I changed it to that drawing I did recently. <laughs> I think it's much better. As more, more attitude. The other one was too perky. Eh. That guy in front of the soy truck? What? It's just like that one, you know, it's like a fucking horrible meme drawing of a guy with a scraggly beard and he's like... He's making soy face, is what they call it. Soy graph. I am made out of soybeans. Really represents the stream and the games played here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it does. <laughs> Just delirious, praying for the for the game to uh, stop being so tedious. Well, most of the games we played lately are not so bad. You know, well, parts of Juggernaut, Quake Four, I guess was. Ugh. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about Graphite has become Catholic when you see that drawing. <laughs> Well, why don't we go ahead and start? Let's start the game. Whoops. I did not want to put FL Studio into windowed mode. Hi, Odd Panic. Welcome, welcome. You were thinking of the photoshopped soy Soylent food truck guy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? I'll turn off. Trophy cabinet. It's talented, big system. Thank you, thank you. 
I do dabble in a lot of things. I think a lot of people still haven't even seen my my 3D intro from the very first stream. <laughs> um, people may not even be aware that, uh-oh. Hey, it showed my desktop for a second. That's kind of scary. <laughs> it's just that picture that Picky made me, but it could have been worse. <laughs> All right, going to load the game up. It just showed it again. What was that? It showed something. Luckily, I don't keep anything incriminating on my desktop, but damn. Time to watch the VOD to see the desktop. <laughs> Could have seen all your icons. I mean, thankfully, I, I don't have anything like sus on my desktop, I don't think. It's mostly just like drawings people have made for me or like, you know, stuff I'm working on or something like that. Oh, it paused <laughs> the video. But we've seen this. We've seen all this. We don't need to see this again. Ba -da -ba -da. Let's go. Let's get back in the game. So something, uh, I found this out that uh, I didn't know last time. My desktop is covered in blood. No one can see my crimes. I mean, isn't the blood evidence of that, though? Just saying. Uh, if you remember, there was that guy, um, the merchant guy, who was seeking gold and gems with his friend or whatever. No, 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 that wasn't even him. It was just the merchant guy who was like, my friends never came to visit my grave after I died or whatever. Uh, I kind of accidentally saw this when I was looking at FAQ to see how much more of the game there might be. Um, first, we need to put on the Ring of the Dead. Uh, gotta get re-accustomed to the controls. Or maybe we don't- do we even need to do that? Equip. You only keep three things on your desktop. The bin, a folder named Cerebro, and the Steam shortcut. Very Spartan. I keep a lot of shit, like, pretty much everything that I use on my Windows partition is on the desktop. <laughs> like, uh... A lot of like the DOS box configs and like all my stream graphics and my VTuber files and shit. You don't have a desktop? Whoa. You working all in a command line or something? So we're supposed to give this guy a flower so that he feels appreciated in death. On his grave. I don't know how you were supposed to figure this out. I guess. I guess it makes sense. You place a flower on the grave. Like how the Ring of the Dead sometimes you'll be using a lot is wedged between two rings that'll kill you if you put them on. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the same level as uh, the default command showing up in Siren being shout, <laughs> which you almost never want to do. Everything you use is on the Cerebro folder or the start menu. That's That sounds good. Minimal. All you have is YouTube DL and a couple of text files. Wow. Ah, uh, you have done something not even my friends had done. Quote unquote friends. Shown me kindness. In return, I will give you what they sought. Hear me, halfling. Long ago, during the Rage Wars, <laughs> during Turok war Rage Wars, I ordered my servant to hide most of my fortune. He was to bury it deep underground where they were building the water channel. Seek ye high and low, since even I do not know its location. For it is there that you will find my servant. Tell him this. Tell my servant Dursius. Aristolan bids you to relinquish the treasure. Then do with it as you wish, remembering what it can and cannot buy. Oh. Rage Wars. <laughs> Quite a descriptor. Yeah, we did meet that guy. He's in the canal. Remember, he was the skeleton in the place where we drowned very early in the game. You could play as a dino in Rage Wars, definitely the best multiplayer shooter on the N64. I've always been kind of curious about it, if it'd be fun to play. Love how in Undertale, the default command is always attack. You have to practically never use it to get the good end. Yeah. You can still attack though, it doesn't- you don't get the bad end like if you just attack. I think it's just if you kill anybody. 
It's still so cool. <laughs> the laundry. I don't know how it got up there, but... So we gotta go back to that canal. Undertale ass music. <laughs> Hello, Piro. Welcome. All music is Undertale music. <laughs> I love the music in that that upper part of the tower. I think this will take us back to the stone, the stone, yeah, this thing near the canal. So I didn't realize it before, but this was actually developed by a Japanese company that worked on Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Like, uh, I don't think they made Crystal Chronicles, but they, yeah, yeah, I know, I've heard your shit before. That guy looks like Charlie Sheen, kind of. Or not Charlie Sheen, uh, who's the other guy? Uh, he's the different one. He's not Sheen. Estevez, who's like, Emilio Estevez or something to me. In Undertale, you always use fight a lot, even though you almost always do pass this. So you like Rasslin? Charlie Chapman? I'm gonna save in case I fall into the the knee-high water that kills you. <laughs> yeah, here we go. That's where the guy's ghost is. You say that Aristolan ordered me to give you the treasure? And you call me by my true name, Dursius? Surely it is so. I am freed of my task. My vigil ends today. Whoa. He has had to go and get this. The ghost relinquishes the treasure. <laughs> Just a pile of gold. <laughs> my master put this treasure under my care. I did not know the dangers of this place. For 153 years, I have stood guard, unable to forswear my earthly duty. But today, you have given me my freedom back. I entrusted to you. Take it. All right, we got some treasure. Now, who might want some treasure? I wonder. You play, may play pacifist, but don't stop them from catching your passive fist. Wow. Kind of like that Deltarune, you can just fight. <laughs> Even though the act commands are very entertaining. Oh, shut up. I hate this man. Even though the act commands are, are good, uh, it's faster to just be able to fight every battle. A dragon, yeah. If only. I would like to meet a dragon as soon as possible. Why do you hate him? Because every time I walk by, when I have the Ring of the Dead on, he starts talking to me. I don't want to talk to him. There we go. I'm just going to take the ring off. Because if we have the Ring of the Dead on, when we try to talk to people, they won't be able to understand us. Right, so we're going to the shop. Remember the shop? Der Hobbit shop. Ghosts are just lonely. Yeah, I guess so, but... This way. Wow. This texture is pretty nice. Looks like an arrow's fletching. Is that what that's called? Huh. Hello. I guess I can't read that. So this is just open to the air. Like, you know, these, this boarded up part, that's very strange. I wonder why he built his shop that way. It's you again, you were very persistent, perhaps a little annoying as well. Yeah, well, what do you, you're not gonna think that for too long, fella. How about this treasure, what do you think of this? Wah! Oh, whoa, that is quite the tidy sum. Where did you... Never mind. I do not wish to know. Now, let me remember. Ah, yes, it was a violin. Never mind what I said earlier. 
Let me think. I've got it. A neat solution to my problem. I will offer you one of these three. It is your choice. I had nothing to do with it. Which one would you like? The violin without strings? I think this is what we want. And I thank you very much. Or is that... No, no, no. It was supposed to be... Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I have to load my game. Damn it. I think it's, it's the violin with a chip out of it. Ah. Hey, Penrose. How are you? I should have saved. Rah! Let's take off our Ring of the Dead now. Instant regret. Yeah. What can you do? Playing delivery, Kojima. The de de Death Stranding? I almost said Dead Space, but that's not right. I want to play Dead Space 3 sometime. That's the only one I haven't played. I know that it's not supposed to be very good, but... It'll still be fun. Some kind of fun. Hmm. <sighs> Hear that? No stunts? Yeah. Stunts, where are you? You gonna play Dead Space 3 with me? Making new dumb weapons is fun. I know it has like a crafting and like all kinds of ridiculous like systems in it that seem a little out of place in that series. Alright. The violin without strings? No. The chipped violin. This is what we want. And I thank you very much. Can't believe the Dead Space people are making a new game canon to the PUBG universe. Really? <laughs> Fast forward, he looks like he's dealing cards. The card shark. I didn't realize that Dead Space Studio was even around. It's a Dead Space game set in the PUBG universe. What? Dead Space always had ridiculous set pieces, but they were in service to the atmosphere like Doom or Quake. What do you mean? Hold on a second. PUBG has a universe? Apparently. I think I'm supposed to, yeah, go over here. There is enough of a visual clue with the bow and sheep music. <laughs> That's so cheeky. All right, let's put his violin down. Thunk. Place the violin onto the desk. You hear the rustle from the far side of the room. Someone's coming this way. Panic stricken, you look for a place you might hide. You see a key hanging on the wall. You take the key. Katunk. Quickly grab the key. How did he know that we put the violin down? 
All right, we're making it down into the dungeon. Whoa, look at the detail. <laughs> it's just kind of ramming into it over and over, but you don't really see that kind of stuff too often in games from this era. Nothing useful here. Hello, Sorrel Drop, how are you? Main problem with Dead Space 3 isn't the weird actionization of it as much as it lacks atmosphere. It's just like a, it's just like an action game, right? It's, that's what I've always heard. Just kind of, you okay, Drop? <laughs> Enjoying this first person gun based video game. Yeah, I was talking to Drop earlier. I looked this, or uh, no, it was. I, I looked up Echo Knight Beyond on the PCSX2 wiki, and uh, like it said something like, unlike most first person video games, there are no firearms or something like that. I can't imagine anyone thinking that in this day and age. Alright, let's talk to Agar. Look at how severe he looks. Del, you've come back for me. Hurry! Ha, I knew I would find you. Now you will pay. What? My friend, we have no time. But if I had some way to create a spell, that is our only hope now. Well, have I got news for you, Agar. Your sister? gave us this orb to give to you. Yes, you. Yes, this will work. Hold on to me, Del. Hold on. Oh my. You're getting close to our friend. <laughs> Lock the cell door, Del. Hurry. I must check on my sister. Meet me at the Rusty Sword Inn. Lock the door. You lock the door. Hey, fella. The dungeon keeper begins shouting and demanding to be released. Oh. He's not getting out of there. <laughs> Pay for giving me that violin. <laughs> The game is played from a first-person perspective, but unlike most other first-person games, there is no use of firearms in the game. Yes. Very shocking. <laughs> Ahead of its time. How goes the graphic? Going pretty good? I really like this game. <laughs> I cannot get enough of it. I find it hard to believe the Dungeon Keeper can actually read sheet music. That's a little bit prejudiced, I would say. Even if he is violent and brutish, he could still play sheet music. Like how they separated fire and arms. Yeah, you know. Fiery arms. Uh, did, did the N64 run at 640 by 480 resolution? You know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, since we started this game, that might be part of why this game looks so good. In addition to the excellent texturing, it's like, uh, pretty high res. Looks nice. Let's go back to the inn. Oh, I guess we'll see what happens now. Hey! It looks so severe. Hello, and thanks again! I wish I could be more joyful, but I have this odd feeling. A feeling of impending doom, a shadow growing over all our lives. Great and terrible things shall soon occur, and I fear you are right, Friendel. That accursed madman Belzar is behind this. His power is great, greater than all who remain in this castle. So, we've decided to leave this place. Come with us, Friendel. I owe you much. You will not? Your narrow path leads on, you say. That is a pity. But if you must confront this thing, then you must get rest and nourishment. There, I have removed the seal from my humble cottage here in the castle. Oh, okay, I know where that is. Please use it and fare thee well, my friend. <laughs> oh, okay, they just teleported out. You have anything to say about that? Hey, they have disappeared and without paying their bill.
He just does not walk. He can only teleport. That's why he was refusing to leave the jail cell. Hey, okay, so that's... Can I, can I use the money on him? Coin. What is this? I don't need such a thing. Huh, so you can use items on him. I wonder if he needs anything. Hmm. Yep, that's how I teleport. A man born without a walk cycle. <sighs> like the idea of conceptualizing currency as a usable item you use on people. Yeah, instead of like a counter. Your money counter. Sidestepping? Yes. The little grass sprites are such a nice touch. That's another thing you don't really see too much in this era. It's like foliage in games. So I believe that this might be this house right here. That we were not able to uh, enter before. Because it said there was no keyhole. He doesn't need money. What a strange man. Yeah, and he like runs an inn in a ruined castle. <laughs> He's got a fucking portrait of his favorite dwarf wizard. He only accepts crypto. Um, we got anything around? There's a book that's entitled Research Log. Yep, I shall take the book. Take the handwritten book. Can I take any of these other books? Hey, what's that? What is that? This strange tooth is very long and sharp. Perhaps it came from a dragon. You take the fang? Okay. <laughs> Kinda easy to overlook, but... Careful not to cut yourself. You take the fang. Yay. It does it for the culture. He's a real hero. Find a flint. Do you wish to take it? Yeah. Hey, maybe we can set that barn on fire now. The flint sifts easily into your pockets. Looks neatly organized. You find nothing you wish to take. All right. Is there anything else here? Look at these textures. They're so cute. I'm always interested in money in games. How most RPGs just throw money at you, but the best items are usually drops and crest rewards. That is true. See, nothing suspicious. Why does one of these beds have like horizontal feet and the other does not? Does that mean anything? I guess not. A flint sounds weird to me. What do you mean? Uh, I guess that's everything here. Ugh. I wish that the analog stick didn't uh, flick, flick up and down so easily calling it a flint oh yeah instead of just flint like as in the mineral the mineral flint or how it's weird when rpgs don't have money like illusion of gaia yeah i guess i guess illusion of gaia is like a action rpg and there are those red jewels those aren't exactly money those are like a secrets all right let's see See about starting a fire in here. The horse feed is fermenting and sells terrible. Makes you a little dizzy. Uh, let's light it on fire. We're doing this. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? He's coming for us. Oh. With a mighty shove, the stable boy sends you reeling. No, not the fire again, he wildly cries. Your pinwheeling arms do little good as you fall hard into the wall. Your head meets the wall with a loud crack, and you have one thought as you black out. Of all the things, I'm being done in by a crazed stable boy. <laughs> um, What am I supposed to do then? Must be at least one RPG that uses a currency-less barter system. 
I guess you can do a lot of that in uh, the like Fallout and like the, the the Elder Scrolls games. You can basically barter. Uh, you played Illusion of Gaia twice, and both times you missed some jewels, even after reading a guide. Some of them are really annoying to get, <laughs> like the one that shows up on the dock at the beginning of the game. I will wait here until the guards will open the gates. Huh. So does that mean... Let's look at our items. Until the guards will open the gates. Ah, I don't know what to do. I wonder if I can convince them to open them. Zelda has some predetermined bartering. I guess that is true. Um, huh? Go over there. Yes, over there. What are you waiting for? What? <laughs> what was that sound effect? Maybe we have to... Hmm. This game got savage reviews? Yeah, I don't understand why. I really don't understand why. <laughs> so I was looking at some, uh, some European reviewers seem to like the game. Like a lot, of, there were like a lot of French and like other like, you know, continental Europe reviews, but, uh, that were more positive, but it got a lot of really bad reviews. A guard of two can lay hold to any castle gate. Is, are these hints? Hold the gates at all costs. Maybe this guy can open the door for us. One dedicated in service shall never leave his post. Oui, oui, le French. We love the N64 game. You're not even French. Ah, American game reviews always have been super homogenous and focused entirely on stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> Niche games usually, niche genres usually get poorly written reviews. I can imagine contemporary American reviewers were probably very shit brained about it. Yeah, there was one that I saw that, uh, like they were mad that it had a lot of like death scenes. They're like, they said it was frustrating because it had too many instant death scenes, which is like not even true at all. <laughs> And what is frustrating about that? Just save your game and load it. What the hell? <laughs> People have trouble taking things on their own terms, even though that's the whole point of having more than one thing. Yep, everything should be the same. Shadowgate is played from a first-person perspective, but unlike most other first-person games, there are no guns. Americans should probably drink less and try mushrooms. Yeah, <laughs> probably. But Belzar's Dark Army? Okay. Want to hear more about Belzar? Aye, I can tell you what I know. Uh, we've read this before. I'm just seeing maybe if there's something, some kind of hints we could get. Something else? Ghost of the Lake? No, we already solved that. Treasure Hunters? Okay. Oh, we've already seen this as well. The fire in the stable, yeah. Oh, the fire broke out in the closet unknown. Because of the fire, the stable keeper's a bit on edge, you assume. Put signs up, imagine that, and so few of us can read. Personally, I think he is this way because of that fermented feed he uses. That's clearly a hint for how to start a fire. But we already know the troubadour, we already solved that. And the innkeeper. Um well there is one guy I can think of that we haven't really gotten anything from. Can't play this game, it's not Mario. Siloing things into genres is weird, I am own. Yeah. Oh mercy. Shadow Gate 69. <laughs> nice. Very nice. 
Where's the Italian? What's your view of the Anglosphere in general? Too high strung and slow to accept new ideas. Yeah. It's annoying. They can only accept new ideas if they're actually, like, kind of boring, tired ideas that are dressed up as, uh, as being new and innovative. What is this picture? Look at that! <laughs> what a cool painting! This rules, by the way? Yeah, it's very cool. I'm really into this game. Hello, my friend. I am a stolen. Did I already say that? I'm studying and in the Great Mysteries. What, what would this guy want? Love the moodiness? Yeah, it's really cool. That's another thing I saw... Uh, reviews of this game where they were like... Oh, the fact that there's so much time between talking to other characters means the game is not only empty, but lonely. Or like, it was like like it's like lonely or something like they were like mad that the game had an atmosphere because <laughs> there were not enough characters to talk to these devs did work on other things uh before this they worked on uh uh Va Vakenroder, uh which is like a strategy rpg for the saturn i know that they they did i think they developed that entirely Pool of stagnant water is collected in what must be the reservoir. Do we use the stone of thirst here? Yes, let's see. Hey! You drop the magical stone of thirst in and recite the incantation. No main rod! Yes! Okay, progress! Progress! Alright. These devs worked on Wacken Rotor? Yeah. There are so many characters though, like tons. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess they were they only played the beginning part of the game and got mad about that. Let's uh Every character must do the banjo kazooie honking noise every minute or it'll be boring. I think these devs may have completely developed Wacken Rotor, like uh on their own. And they also, they assisted some, some on like texturing on Crystal Chronicles. Didn't Kingsfield review well? Like, I know this game doesn't have action. Um, I don't know. Did Kingsfield review well? I don't, I don't know too much about that. Uh, let's go, let's go around this way. There seems to be a little pit there that we can go into that we can't get to from here. But people love how lonely Souls games are and complain about it in other games. Yep. It's only fashionable now. <laughs> Before, it was unthinkable. I'm pretty sure it did not. But atmosphere doesn't seem like it would be a negative at that time. I don't know. Maybe it was just that reviewer is stupid. Dark Souls didn't get shining reviews on release? I remember GameSpot giving it like a 9 and saying it was like a an unimaginably beautiful journey. Like I remember the the review was so lyrical and I was like really struggling to imagine what the hell the game was even like when I when I was like reading it. <laughs> Kingsfield was just reassessed when people liked Souls. Some people liked Kingsfield at the time. I know that super great friend, I think he played Kingsfield like when when it, it was before Souls became a big thing, and he seemed to have a uh, favorable appraisal of it. Dark Souls got like perfect tens on release. Souls games are now the only game to compare to. Yeah. Demon Souls already got good reception in the West, Souls only got mixed scores. More on the demons. JP release? Really? Then word of mouth immediately happens. Yeah, because I remember when I got a PS3, uh, Demon Souls was like, I was looking at like Metacritic and I was like, alright, what's the highest rated games? And I remember Demon Souls was like 
way up there. It was like one of the only games that had like very high reviews at the time. Because I was still thinking in a review score mindset then. Um, we're in control room, huh? Interesting. What is this place? Blech. Let's see. What are these? Uh, you know, I don't want to mess with that because I don't know what it does. <laughs> hey, oh, there's something there. What is that? I can't. Uh, I can't move. Ancient machinery appears to be missing something. Do we have anything that could go on there? No? You got Demon Souls? Because it reminded you of Castlevania, really? You got it before you got a PS3? What did you do with it? Just like, look at it? The door won't open. It seems that something on the other side is blocking it. What? Okay, so this didn't actually solve anything. Should I read that research notes? Research log? I think the moment, like, zero punctuation guy lost to you was raging about the tutorial to Demon Souls. What? <laughs> really? Yes, they both have castles and committing to attacks. <laughs> That's an interesting way to look at it. <laughs> Should have been doing the opposite. You missed it on Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard, and Jurassic Park The Hunted. <laughs> what is Jurassic Park The Hunted? My research goes poorly. Out of all the things that I have been asked to study and report on, the good master gave me this. Where's the last dragon? He has this look in his eye. I feel like he already knows the answer even before he asks it. It is best if I try to organize my thoughts and clarify my ideas. First of all, two things are very clear. No one has seen a living dragon in hundreds of years, but somewhere within that time an effort was made to search for the species. According to legend, it was a powerful group that attempted to save the dragons. One legend says it was a circle of twelve. Another says it was a dragon warder clan, a family entrusted to care for and maintain the beast. This clan has since died out. I choose however to believe that it was a combination of the two. Lachmir working with a dragon warder named Denarth. <laughs> Denarth? I have found documents that tell of a journey, a journey that lasted seasons and spanned continents. This is where the story becomes legend again. A children's rhyme is all I have documenting the last dragon. It reads, dragon, dragon, rock the dragon. Dragon, dragon, stands alone. Dragon, dragon, turn to stone. Dragon, dragon, comes again. Dragon, dragon, at the end. This brings me no closer to my answer. Where is the last dragon? Lackmere knows. All right. Um, what? What do we do? Jurassic the Hunted is an FPS where you fall out of an airplane and then must kill dinosaurs. <laughs> Sounds cool. Look at the squares of the grounds. What's up with that? It's like they they textured everything the way that you would texture like a Super Nintendo game or something. <laughs> Interesting. Remember Dragon Graphy? Oh, of course. <laughs> Jurassic Park Trespasser. Still kind of can't believe that that game exists. Well, there's these dragon statues. It says, only with wings, roars, and fangs shall a dragon fly. So what does that mean? We have the fang. It can't be used here. Huge sword of the towers seem impossible to open. Can I use Fang on this? Alright. Huh. Wings, roars, and fangs. Well, we have a 
quill. That doesn't seem like a wing, though. That's just one, a couple of feathers. Oh! Ah! That kind of startled me. <laughs> the edge of the hole gives way, sending you head over heels into the deep pit. A startled scream escapes you as you fall, feebly grasping the thin air. Your last thought is anger at the lack of any warning signs or fences in this place. <laughs> Uh, I wish more triple A game projects were like irreparably collapsing under the weight of 4D infinitesimal systemization. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. What am I supposed to fucking do? Hmm. Let's see. I wonder if we just have to give this guy something. I forgot what he's looking for. What is that? No, please keep it. I find I need very little in life. No, I'm sorry. I must get back to my pursuits. Did he have a document in here? That I can maybe look at from my... Acolyte's Diary, Memoirs... Personal Journal... Magical Elixirs? Do I need this for anything? No... Um... No, I don't think any of this is it. I think it's a more recent book, maybe. Family Diary? Petition? I think we got this from the Thieves... the Thieves building. North Family Chronicles? I don't know. <gasps> we need to go talk to the troubadour? Musings of a lunatic. Is there anything in this book? Twitter? What's wrong? I feel like every AAA game is collapsing under the weight of that. Well, it's because it's all skill trees and crafting and pointless shit they all insist on. And just make the game worse. Yep, that sounds like uh, the entirety of Code Vein from what I saw of it. Musings of a lunatic. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> Travel guide? I don't know what to do. I'm trying to think. Let's go see if the uh the water drains. By that one moat. I wonder. I wonder if that's something we have to drain uh, through the control room. Uh. This game has been mostly very solvable so far. We seem to be hitting some confusing points. Uh. 
No, see, this water is all still here. I think that we need to be able to activate the gate from somewhere else to op to drain that water, maybe? Bah! Frog! get from Agar's room? Um, from him, we got... What did we get? I can't remember. I cannot remember what we got from helping Agar. He gave us something. Oh, he opened his house. Um, we got, we got the dragon, the dragon fang, and the flint. And the place that we're supposed to use the flint is to light the horse feed on fire in the stable, but if we do that, the stable guy attacks us. Um, and he says that he won't leave until the guards open the gate. And there is a guy in the gatehouse, you know? Uh, let me go over there. But he seems to be blocking a door. And he tells us about several, like, objectives around like uh talking to the the bard and helping the ghost girl and the stable um there's one last thing in that room that's hidden really is it useful like there was also a journal in there hum Let's go over there. <gasps> Have there been any superfluous items yet? Uh, yes, very many. <laughs> A lot of them. Like, uh... An enormous number of the items. Like the Primitive Man statue, and the Ape Man statue, and... I think the quill is, like, useless. And we've never had to use hair of giant. We've had that for a while now. I think that apparently a lot of the items in this game are uh, just nonsense. There's another thing that's hidden here. Going to bed. Hope you're gonna turn the hair back to the giant. Okay, sleep well, obviously. Uh, is the hidden thing the journal? Cause I don't see anything. Or is it this? Oh, it's hidden in plain sight is, I guess, a bigger hint. Huh? You can also just say... It's well-kept appearance. Makes you think it has been recently used. <laughs> the 
Look at the beds. This one has like different legs on it, like different. Hmm. What? This bed post is strange, as if taken from some machinery. Are you- what? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> okay, that's bullshit. You take the lever. Thank you. Thank you, Ilya. Oh my god. <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> that is absolute fucking nonsense. Let's go back to the control room, because I assume that's for that thing, but I don't know what that does. Uh... It only looks slightly different from the other bed posts, yeah. <sighs> it would probably be more noticeable if it was like sprite art, like in the original Shadow Gate. But here. <laughs> It's a little bit uh, more difficult to catch sight of. All right, let's go over here. Now, lever. Yes. Honk. With an audible click, the lever snaps into place. How satisfying! Black Mirror, what's up, my friend? So young, Dell. Are you on the correct path? Up until now, there has been little that I can truly tell you, for a link exists. The link with which mine enemy, my once brother, might thwart your efforts. So I have told you little, hoping you might that you are the one who might bear the mantle. Hero! But now I will help as much as I can. Getting key stuff to be visible but not too visible is still tricky in 3D, yeah. This ancient place once controlled the flow of water to the castle. It might do so again, allowing places to be crossed which cannot. So look for your path, choose wily, for the trials shall soon be on you. With the success of the trials, your anointment shall soon be complete. Okay. Just slap a glowing aura around it. Make it flash. Can you pull the lever? What does it do? Mm, nothing much happens. Um, now where in the hell am I supposed to find this out? Huh? It's a hole in the roof, but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Well, I doubt I can brute force this. Just put yellow tape everywhere. You know, I find that for some reason I find myself <laughs> feeling really annoyed at the yellow tape stuff in Resident Evil 7 and 8. I don't know why. Something about it seems so... I don't know. It annoys me for some reason I can't put my finger on. Make it blend in totally with everything else in the scenery, but include a bat vision where everything is highlighted blue and red and everything else is gray. <laughs> Genius. It doesn't need to be an RE8? Are you sure? I kind of have a really hard time reading the environments in that game. <laughs> Honestly. Let's not fall into the pit. I wonder where we find out how to open this. Obviously, they want it to be like, you can bust this, but they kind of overdid it. <laughs> yeah. It's useful in games with a lot of verticality, like Uncharted. Is there some kind of an indication of how I need to turn the... 
cranks like around here. Or he could have just used lighting or torches or something more natural to guide players, you know? <laughs> This little fish zooming around. That's cool. Uh, I don't know. I'm stumped again. <laughs> Did I just miss some kind of like key document or something? I looked at all of the recent like documents that we've gotten. Guide gives the knob solution, but doesn't say how you're supposed to know that is the solution. Uh, what the hell? <sighs> I guess, just tell me. I don't know how, like, if it doesn't even tell you how you're supposed to know, that's like very annoying. <laughs> I have no idea how I would even find it out. I'm not like sequence breaking or something. A faint trickle can be heard, as if water begins to flow. The trickle becomes a roar as the sound of a vast amount of water begins flowing. The way is now open. The trials await all who would call themselves worthy. What? Why did we, what? <laughs> Why did we just back up like that? This seems like clearly what we've been working up to. So this is like definitely the next big objective here. Whoa. Tiny, tiny whirlpool. Yeah, for that much water. Be wary, young halfling, for you shall be tested and tasted well. Your next destination shall examine your inner being. If you are found wanting, then you shall surely fail. But if you're found worthy, then a life of servitude is your reward. So beware. <laughs> Looks like a shitty deal. Alright, let's go back over there. how you're intended to know how to do that. Oh, so strange. Can't stop yawning. What's up with this texture mapping? <laughs> Looks a little screwed up there. This game is boring. Gahaha. You were just you were just messaging me earlier about how cool this game was. Drop. Don't even act like 
That's what you think. Whoa. Slippery stairs. Sleepy streamer, yeah. Maybe just a little bit. These waters have stood here for a long time. Alright, I guess there's nothing else to do in the rest of the the moat here. Don't leak my private DMs, I have to keep on my evil act. Evil act? Since when have you even acted evil at all? <laughs> you're a prankster. But you're not evil. I'm evil. Okay, sure. <laughs> Drop has to remain heal. Maintain heal, kayfabe. I was supposed to be evil at first, too. I couldn't keep it up. Everybody says I'm nice. You notice an inscription on the plaque. It reads, Prepare thyself, the trials await beyond. Anoint thyself, the trials lie ahead. Ask these tests, and in accordance with the law, your station shall be bestowed. Endure these tests of loyalty, knowledge, understanding, strength, courage, and soul. Anoint and prepare, for the trials mean life, but also mean death. Leave all possessions behind, and enter alone, for only then can you succeed. So it has been decreed by the Circle of Twelve. Well, you are very nice. No! I'm mean! I'm a huge jerk! Ruffy is too much of a kind little dumpling to be evil. That's not true! <laughs> it's not! <laughs> what the hell? Can you feel the weight and oppression above you? Can you feel the centuries press in? Can you feel the sunshine? Yes, there is death here, but it is a trial that must be accepted and completed. It cannot be conquered. No! Lest anyone boast. Rather, it must be endured till the end, and its ending is a new beginning. For once, the mind, body, soul, and heart have been tested, if only then can one proceed. But I can warn you not to be wary here. No, I can warn you to be wary here. Things are not what they seem. For one reaches out from the grave to alter the tests. Be wary of his evil presence. He will more, more than test you. He will trick you. <laughs> He will trick you! Oh, patent me? Ugh. Can't really imagine me being actually mean. I mean, I've, you know, tangled with people and been mean and banned people, but I guess it's not really actual banning. Or actual being mean. That's just standing up for yourself, I guess. Uh, you didn't ban out of being mean. Uh, I guess so. A new book. The title of the book is Novice's Journal. Graffy, be mean to me. You stink. I will crush you under deadly wheels. Sneezing from the disturbance of dust, you take the book. <laughs> Deadly wheels? <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to been thinking about trying to throw in more casual disdain for fun. It is fun. I curse this day. The last day that the tower will be open. The last of the Brotherhood have decreed this day as the beginning of the end for their sect. If only the good master were still around, then this day would never have to come. Would have never come. I do not know who blame more. Who to blame more? The power hungry like bells are, the weak minded like the current king. There's been too much turmoil, too much upheaval. I am beginning to hear voices. I know them to be voices from the past, from another time. In the examiner's room, I hear the voice say, Oh, to be king and to sit in my rightful's place. The times being such as they are i have even begun to question my sanity i still i wonder is the tower lamenting its fate like i am huh huh wait this is where i came from damn 
Wait, what? What was that? Is that an, un an uneasy feeling something? The hair on the back of your neck begins to rise. The writings of Connor. You fancy some light reading? <laughs> Book adds to the weight of your pack. What's that? Ugh, more damn books. The name of the book is the Brotherhood Report. You take the slim book. Slim. You take and place the book within your pack. Title of the book reads, The Trials of the Kingdom. Do you wish to take the book? You're making me read too much. Heavy tome slicks neatly into your pack. Alright. Um. Yeah, all the music in this game is cool. I think that Stunt said that the composer of, like, Panzer Dragoon Saga or something wrote this music? What is this right here? Glancing about the room, a strange feeling overcomes you. You feel a malevolent presence permeate the air of this place. Huh. Put on the ring of the dead. This desk gives new meaning to the word antique. There can't be nothing in here. I refuse to believe in that. Let's read the books. And so, Lackmere the Timeless worked towards transforming the castle Shadowgate into a place of teaching, a place of service, a place where all could come and learn. Commoner and noble alike, the search for magic was denied no one. This proved to be the demise of the plan, where the mechanisms for training were put in place. This allowed those both skilled and unskilled in the magical arts to vie for the sorceress rank <laughs> in the ring of the kingdom. Those born with the gift did not suffer long. Those who had no magic in them. They became prideful and deemed the teachings too easy in order to accommodate their lesser in order to accommodate their lesser brethren. Thus an elitist attitude formed for those pursuing the humble station, servant of to the kingdom. A deadly state of mind that ruined many a sorcerer's chance at greatness. And the mechanism for testing was erected. The trials. These were meant to test all aspects of a man's being before he was to be found worthy. But even these noble tests were found wanting. The commoner thought them biased towards the noble. An example often cited was the emphasis upon crests and lineage in these tests. These, many complained, were needlessly mired in politics of the day. For many crests were built minor variations on others. and the intricacies were lost on the commoners. For example, the silent dragons of the royal family's crest was a minor variation to the screaming ones on another prominent house. Two, the double entrance to the tower on the royal crest was a slight variation from others, and the variations go on. Many questioned the need to know such minutia, claiming it was all politics, for truly, what use is it to know the difference between the frowning boar of the House of Aldor versus the grinning boar of House of Hurl. <laughs> the frowning and grinning boar. So the dome continued festering amongst the up and come ranks of new sorcerers. The little higher stations quietly questioned why Lackmere did nothing. I humbly put see it as an oversight to one who had those crushing responsibility to help rebuild a kingdom. Yes, things continued spiraling downward until it reached its current status. Decreased enrollment, few passed the trials. Especially since the addition of the new administrator, Nar Nathor, the Timeless One's failing health, the crumbling condition of the castle. These problems multiply as Cal Torlin struggles to rise from the ashes of the Warlock Lord's madness. I wish we could be more like the Wasteland. Oh, the Westland, home of the legendary Lord Jair, a loosely governed confederate free to chart its own course, its own way. Alright, that's so much text. 
There is talk amongst the Brotherhood since the death of Good Master Lachnir. There are some who push for a successor to be named Belzar. This makes all of us uncomfortable. <laughs> True, he is the most powerful and well learned among us, but it has been said he uses death magic. This Belzar has even gone about proclaiming that he should be instated into the legendary Circle of Twelve, which ceased to exist centuries ago. The pride of the man. But it all goes back to the Black Arts. It is rumored that Lachmir for forbade Belzar from taking the challenge. It was not until after Lachmir died that Belzar took the test of the Tower of Trials. And since that time, it has been said that Belzar has become even more eccentric. It is curious, because we of the Brotherhood feel we are without direction, and need a leader. But to choose one such as Belzar, who defied the orders of our revered teacher, seems unthinkable. Whoa, that's what he looks like? <laughs> Like, the book is just like, oh, they let commoners learn magic? It's too popular now, it sucks. Yeah, I guess that was the reaction of the... Whoa, whoa! You have disturbed me, halfling. You have disturbed Na Nathor Dreslin. <laughs> I am first in line for the throne. I know history does not indicate this. But mark my words, it is so. Tradition shows that we were in line for the throne. But it was Jer of the Wasteland who was made heir by the dying King Arande. The old line, the vassals and dedicated servants to the crown were all appalled. A kingdom needed honor. I saw no honor in naming a country yokel to be king. But I am a lo loyal servant, even to one like Jer. I tried to stop the plot, but I was implicated along with the rest of my family, stripped of our rank. We were humiliated even more when sent to work here at this poor excuse of a castle. Jer showed his weakness by keeping us alive. From here, I can promote my views. Even under their watchful eyes, I can plan and scheme to regain the throne. <laughs> I'll have my revenge in some small part. The trials are now true as far as history. What? None shall succeed in the tri trials unless they acknowledge the rightful king. So, Dreslin? I guess? Hey, Cloud. How are you doing? Welcome. As a ghost, I will continue to subtweet King Jer. Yeah. <laughs> right, as, uh. He's hung up on things. They set up a petty trial that refuses to accept a commoner king. No, I think that he was made king. I think it's just that guy who, like, administrates it. Refuses to acknowledge him. Uh, let's try going upstairs. I guess? Um... Read the inscription on the plaque. Pay homage to the king. The dusty hall is lined with faded portraits of heroes from past ages. Um... What? Okay, that was, I guess, the portrait of Lord Lord Jer. Lord JRPG. Uh, let's see. Ugh, my nose is all itchy. Huh? Uh, what was the point of going in that room? It just led back to here. Name inscribed as Nathor Dreslin. This portrait shows a cunning man, a regal accoutrement. Hmm. I don't. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It says. 
pay homage to the king. What is that? What do I do? What does that even mean? <laughs> and if I examine this, the fierce eyes and strong features of this man makes him unmistakable, Lord Jer. And then I can go into here. It's a door, but it just leads to an empty room. Look at Nathor painting, but at the bottom. Nathor? What? You notice something under the lip of the frame? A switch. That's very sneaky. What in the fuck? Because he's the true king or something. Yeah, I guess he's meddling with the trials, is what Lakmir said. So. All these pieces seem to be parts that form a puzzle. You just take the pieces? Okay. Huh? You gather up all the pieces. Fragments of a crest. Oh, okay. Inscribed on the plaque are these words. Create the true coat of arms. make the correct coat of arms why did it why was it written out like that <laughs> that was really strange that effect um it said two doors and the silent dragons in that document that we were looking at <laughs> this is cute uh i don't know which one of these though oh just to match it I guess that was wrong. <laughs> this is very pedantic. <laughs> yeah. Am I missing something? I guess I didn't read the writings of Connor, did I? I think it was after King Jer died that I first heard Lakmir speak of death magic. At that time, I did not know why he was speaking of su such a subject, but now I realize it may have been when Lakmir first sought Belzar's inclination toward the Black Arts. Lakmir explained that everyone has two natures, a good nature and an evil nature, and that the two are always warring with each other. From birth on, a person is never truly free. Of that struggle, even someone like himself, he said, experiences doubt. I knew Blackmere thought fondly of Belzar. A testament to this was that he did not banish him altogether for using the Black Arts, but rather just forbade him from using them again and prohibited him from taking the test of the Tower of Trials. This might have been Blackmere's biggest mistake. <laughs> but who knows the workings of Blackmere's mind? Belzar's power exceeded that of all the other dis disciples. Many believed, certainly I among them, that he was also to become Lakmir's successor. Maybe Lakmir believed there was hope for Belzar, that the struggles would continue and that good would win out. And I might have believed this myself, for Belzar seemed to change for the better, but then Lakmir passed on. And that was when Belzar changed again. Disobeying Lakmir's commands, he took the testing of the tower. He passed the deadly tests and came away with a harder heart, craving more power. Something happened that tipped the balance to the Black Arts. It is hard to say what happened at that time, but it is easier to trace what has transpired since then. His arrogance increased as he first attempted to be named the successor of Lakmir. Next, he attempted to be instated as a member of the Circle of Twelve. The audacity of the man, but nevertheless, his power increased and he grew more erratic. He was thwarted at all attempts to legitimize his rank. This only served to agitate him further. His erratic behavior dissuaded him more from following Lakmir's vision. How ironic that his most gifted disciple would destroy his noble dreams. Talk of Blackmere's ability to sense the future seems to be false. For he is gone, and a madman has destroyed the proud tradition and the high hopes of the Sorcerer's Guild. As of this writing, there are few of us left carrying on this way. We still seek learning, but the towers are closed to us. The wards and magics remain strong, preventing most from entering. The secrets and meanings of our trade are also fading. 
Whoops. Was that the last page? I don't know. There are a few here who can continue to teach the way. Those that do have to contend with Belzar every time he returns. Belzar seeks something, something he cannot find. I shudder to think what he's contemplating. The dark ways that he has embraced could be the undoing of us all. At night, I often dream. A pair of yellow eyes stare at me. The hatred emanating from them is almost smothering. I fear that something terrible is coming. Okay. Let's look at this. I think this had the... The crests in it. Yeah, the double entrance on the to the tower on the royal crest was a slight variation from others, and the variations go on. Silent dragons and the double entrance. The frowning boar of House of Aldor. So but how am I supposed to know what order to put the dragons on there? I guess I can just brute force it. Um, now we want to try like this. Yeah, the coat of arms to the royal family is completed, but nothing happens. Huh? Does that mean I have to do the opposite? Alright, I'll do the opposite then. The trial is being meddled by Nethor. What an asshole. Grah! Oh no, that's, that's not right. I think it was the other one. Ugh. This is a bit annoying. <laughs> Maybe the dragon's in a different order. Just have it be with the people in iconography we've been seeing all game IMO. Yeah, uh, this is a little a little annoying. There we go. The coat of arms for the Dreslin family is completed. So this is just opposite day. Whatever that whatever you're supposed to do, do the opposite. That's how you win. Whoa. <laughs> Who's this guy? Whoa. A thundering noise reverberates from the wall. It sounds like words. None shall pass beyond. If you wish to continue through these tests, then your mind shall be next. Answer truthfully and without fail, for the other side shall ye find. If ye possess a stout heart and clear mind, then step forward for your reckoning. Are ye prepared? Yeah, let's try. Who has forever been known as the good master? Answer ears. Lair, Jair, or Lachmir? It's Lachmir, right? You have the words of truth. Well done. I thought that was going to be something that would kill me. Like yellow gas that would kill me. Give me the answer to my question. What is Lord Jair's homeland? The Westlands. You have the words of truth. Well done. <laughs> Nice selfie of me. <laughs> wow. Alright. What was the name of the first dragon? I don't know. 
Bull Hollower. Okay, I guess so. Sounds about right. <laughs> like how he's getting more and more despairing with each each question. What is against the pro what is the prohibition against black magic? They really did have a dragon fact quiz. <laughs> it taints the soul. <laughs> Despair. Alright. Who is the rightful king of Kaltorlin? The answer is Nathor Dreslin. We have to do that because Dreslin is meddling. Half of these questions aren't in the guide. Yeah, I think that you uh you get different ones, I think. Because um when I was looking at that guide, it was talking about the questions from the lady with the crystal ball in the inn, and she can apparently give you a number of questions, but you only get three of them. That are like picked randomly, I think. You conquered the challenge and broke all the walls. Well, great. Let's save. Oh, hold on. Bah! Right. Let's teleport. Mario can only use teleport once per level. Huh? My controls are reversed. You read the inscription. Strength comes from control of one's world. Oh, this is terrible. And there's like killing traps around. Fuck you. <laughs> Usually wall monsters in video games are a lot more annoying. <laughs> this is so fucked up. Alright. Alright. I got this. This is like a Warcraft 3 custom game? <laughs> what do you mean? It's weird because like left and right looking are reverse, but not not uh up and down looking. <laughs> One of those tower defense games. This is Uther Party. What's that? It's more like that one Donkey Kong 3 level? What? Oh, the controls are still reversed. Cursed maze. Alright, I think we're almost out of this room though. <laughs> Thank god. Uther Party is Mario Party and Warcraft 3. Oh. <laughs> the inscription reads, the light must burn at the end as it does in the beginning. Huh? What? You are back at the entrance. No. Uh, no, I'm not, actually. <laughs> it's been explained here literally five times before you've counted. Really? I don't remember that at all. I remember that weird-ass game that Drop was talking about. I can't remember what it was called, though. The one that's like the, uh... Mario Party that takes like three months to play or whatever. You can barely make out the faded inscription. One must not rely on magic, nor shall one rely upon force of arms, but rather upon the wisdom of knights. What? 
Oh, we have the flints. It's firmly shut. Whether you push or pull, it refuses to budge. The strength of arms. What? Can we deforce everyone? Dokopon Kingdom, yeah. That one. Can we deforce everyone into a Dokopon Kingdom collab and ruin everything forever? <laughs> You're gonna make like four people quit VTubing entirely. The light must burn at the end as it does in the beginning. What do you mean? What does that mean? They really might. Strength of arms. Bro, look at how many books I am carrying. I can take the candle? It's a steadying breath. You take the lighted candle. Huh? can't be used here. Can I put it in here? It can't be used here. Huh? Night must burn at the end as it does in the beginning. Does that mean I have to go back to the first floor? No, now we don't have to- oh. I think I understand. I think we have to take the candle back to the beginning of the the night's maze or something. We have to fucking nostalgia it. <laughs> that scene is so funny. I know I've said this before, but it really like blew my mind when I realized that that clip that was in Fucking Jonathan Blow's amazing masterpiece, The Witness, was from that. It's from that movie. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. What? All right, the candle doesn't seem to be doing anything here. Can I open the door now? Or... Oh, I have to be holding the candle. Have you ever seen Stalker? No, but I want to. I have, uh, I have it on my computer. I just haven't ever gotten around to... Ugh. I just fucking bonked into my computer. And it made a weird noise. <laughs> That's kind of worrying. That's a video game, fucking noob. What am I gonna do with you? It's an entire movie of Russian guys wandering around the woods. It's godlike. I do want to watch it sometime. Use the wisdom of knights? Oh, the candle's burning down. Oh. Describing the game again. <laughs> now I don't have the candle anymore. What is going on?
the magic candle. Wow. I always remember that as one of my my favorite mocha streams. I think one of the things being tested in this trial is the ability to walk very carefully. Yeah, it's important for a wizard. I just really like how much Moko is like so completely believed that there would actually be some kind of like resolution or that they would show they would show that like a cool graphic of the candle or something. <laughs> kept insisting that. I believe that it was a mysterious Kamige game with a badass magic candle CG. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> For some reason his his insistence on that was like extremely <laughs> extremely entertaining to me. Mocha synergies with the bad games. They're fine. Fine games. The game seemed like it was okay, honestly. What's this? I see a small protrusion, so you press it? Yeah. Hear the grinding of rock on rock. Apparently the switch activated something. Sure. Let's go back this way. Oh, this is down here. Am I supposed to go into this room? Okay, it's locked and can't be opened. Huh? What? <laughs> the space section in Ultima was great. That game seemed actually very cool, and it was uh, neat that he actually finished the whole thing. But I think most people would not do that. <laughs> most people would not be able to finish Ultima. Oh, what the hell? Here, a faint click as if a lock opens somewhere. Tricky, tricky. All right, let's go this way and back to the door. Like how a lot of old games have that twist. Yeah, the Might and Magic games did. Suddenly it's space. Science fiction. Science friction. Grinding of rock on rock. What did that? Huh? <laughs> I'm so confused. There's two doors. D door? Demons were space aliens the whole time. Damn. Is this an endless corridor? Yeah, it seems to be. This is pretty tricky. I don't know what to do. My candle is burning down. I'm going to die. Glad the torch get mechanic from the old game finally made it in. Uh, I guess in a way it did. Huh. I like the idea that we're just holding this like hot 
the puddle of melted wax in our hands with like the candle still burning. to start over. What the fuck? Rascally. Guess that's a reset button? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. So we want to go this way. Back around to hit the switch to open the door. No! You bastard. Leads to the store. Hum. Here there's a door, and then there's like this looks like it could be opened with like a button. But what do we do? What do I do when I'm feeling down and blue? Superman, only you can take me higher. That's a, a Eurobeat song called Superman 2000. <laughs> it's very good. Hmm. Am I supposed to go back this way after pressing that button? No, the way is sealed. Oh, um, maybe I'm supposed to come back up and press the button again. And then I can go back down. I think I'm starting to get this. Now we got doors. Door. can sort of smell cigarettes a lot of the time lately. I don't know if it's on my hoodie or what. Oh, I'm turned around now. It's because you're secretly smoking. I'm not though. I haven't smoked in over a month. I'm on to you. No, please. I've been good. No! Don't kill me! Ark! Dirty lungs. Well, who cares anyway? Because you're unsecretly smoking. No. Not really. this here before? Fraternizing with smokers. I haven't even been around anybody smoking. I think 
I get what we're doing here. I just have to make it there before this wax burns my hand. <laughs> it's literally just a bottle of wax in our hands. Damn, must be a ghost then. No, no, <laughs> don't say that. No. Yes! We did it! Yes! I am a genius. You did it. Puddle of wax deposited. I want to touch some melted candle wax now. Not like the liquid form, but like, you know, when it's goopy. Maybe the game has smell-o-vision, and you're smelling the candle. Ugh. It'll smell like tallow. Where did this go to? I think this went back to... The portrait room? Yeah, no, we don't want to be here. First 4D game. Are you implying that smell is a dimension? <laughs> Or... Alright, both of these appear to go to the same room, so let's quit out. For some reason the d-pad only works on the title screen. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what's up with that, but... The smell of the N64 components melting to put you in the game. <laughs> Graffy banished to the smell dimension. What? No! smell vision is a new dimension of entertainment. Is this something they tried to like market once or something? You puzzle out the cryptic words. Sometimes the path shall be behind you, but it shall still plainly be in front of you. What? Oh, I see. Wait, we don't see ourselves in the mirror? It's a little scary. Whoa. An odd sensation accompanies you as you pass through the mirror. Huh. You gaze into the mirror and are lost in its reflection. What's this? You see nothing suspicious. I don't know about that. Whoa. What did I do? No! Ah. Uh. No. Huh. How did you instantly understand that? I don't know, because my brain is like, weighs like 70 pounds. <laughs> Vampire Hobbit? What? Oh, yeah, I get you now. They only drink blood but still somehow prepared as all sorts of comfort foods. It's rather hard, it's hard to get multiple smells on demand. Yeah, I guess that's true. There's companies trying to make smell pods for VR. <laughs> Tallow smell or Yankee Candle Store, which smells worse? Probably both pretty bad. I don't like scented candles very much. They're so... I don't know. No. No. They're so overwhelming. They make me feel like I can't breathe right. There was a scented candle for RE7 VR. It was supposed to be like wood and blood scented. What? Can't wait to smell rancid zombies in my VR game and then hurl from overstimulation. Yeah. Hey, there's something here. Item. An unimpressive ring rests on this pedestal. Will you take the ring? Barely grab the ring of the kingdom. Put on the ring of the kingdom. Oh.
Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Is, is that what I'm supposed to do here, or...? I wanna see what's in the other rooms. Yes? Oh, okay. So that was what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> What are these other slots? I've never really seen that, uh, what you might use those for. But how are you supposed to know this is the, the mirror to go into, specifically? Controller memory pack? Huh. I do have a memory pack, though. Okay, so this is not the one. So it's only the right one. And we want that ring? That's all that we came here for? <laughs> candles are comfy? I like candles, just not scented candles. You take the ring, yes. It's the ring of the kingdom. The king of the ringdom. So does that mean I can enter the, the other tower? Or... Garfi doesn't like smelling nice things. Room spins and you feel nauseous and you're magically transported to the entrance. Oh, okay. Truly, my young friend, you wear the mantle well. Know this, that with your new station comes new responsibilities. Things grow grave as we speak, you must hurry. I beseech you to awaken our brethren, the ones whom held mastery of the air. Oh, dragons? You now possess the authority to do what you could not. Remember to open the path with a familiar voice, only in its music can you go on. A familiar voice? Huh? Can I go talk to that guy again? And he'll be like, how dare you? You passed my trial. I was meddling. You ruined my fun. It's not that I don't like nice smelling things. It's just I prefer like subtle scents. Like sometimes I go to the grocery store and the whole store smells like sugar cookies and I feel like sick to my stomach. So, little man, you come to gloat of your victory. Are you prepared for the kind of death you've earned, little man? You bear the ring, symbol of all that is wrong with this accursed realm. That symbol should bear my coat of arms, respected by all who see it. Instead, it shows the error of a senile old man, and that timeless wizard, too. He has as much to blame for this as all the others. Now, be gone from my presence. My schemes need to be planned. I shall return. <laughs> You're dead downside of having a canine sense of smell yeah <laughs> you know honestly the thing is i don't i feel like my sense of smell is not very sharp except for certain things like i don't like uh like like fish smell is always very overwhelming to me or like sweets like the smell of sweets can be a bit much i don't know i want to go to the sugar cookie store okay fine you can go there then then you can choke and gag on the stench of uh, sugar cookies. Uh, do I need to go talk to... There was that book that seemed to be implying that that bard was maybe like a descendant of the dragon keepers or something. This is why I wanted to play this game the day after I played it the first time, is because I think I would forget most of these things otherwise. Go there and deeply breathe in the sweet sugar cookie smell. Gross. That's gross. What about the smell when you open a sugar cookie tin for the first time? I like the smell of sugar cookies themselves, and they are good, but I don't want the entire grocery store to smell ch like chokingly of them as they're as if they're like piping it in through the vents or something. When you smell a jar of frosting, that's good. 
That smells good. Frosting. You guys ever just eat frosting? It's pretty tasty. Uh. I think everyone's done that once or twice. No, no, really? Who hasn't? If you leave it in the fridge so it's like trashy fudge, yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe I'm supposed to be wearing that, uh, that ring. No, 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 hold on. I think I'm supposed to be wearing the ring first. Raw cookie dough. No! You'll get, you'll get salmonella. You were a middle child and your parents both worked. Took every opportunity to sneak frosting without ever anyone knowing. <laughs> Good. Excellent. No thank you, this harp alone is good enough for me. Huh. Maybe I should show this to the, the gatekeeper? Maybe? Maybe if I do that, he'll be like, oh, I'll open the gate and then then the stable keeper will go out looking for his horses, and then I can set his stable on fire. Uh, for some reason? I don't know why we want to do that. <laughs> What's wrong with getting salmonella? I mean, if you like it, that's fine, but not everyone does. I don't need such a thing. I'm a thief. If I want something, I'll steal it. Okay. Hmm. Plebs. Don't be rude. No, I'm not trying to give it to you, mister. Hmm. Ah, what now, huh? Ba -da -da. We've been everywhere but the southeast tower. All systems, fourth tower. <laughs> trying to think who might. Should I go to the statue of Lord Jair? looking for something about the old ways. Do you want the ring? Ugh, he doesn't want it. <sighs> Maybe I need it to get into that other tower. I wonder if this game was influenced by Kingsfield in some way. It has that feeling. Hmm. Huge doors to the tower seem impossible to open. Only 
with wings, roars, and fangs, Shilla Dragonfly. Wings, roars, and fangs. What? Wings, roars, and fangs. roars and fangs I don't I don't know what I don't know what we even accomplished this was the chatting music from last night yeah <laughs> I just left it on the the fountain screen back there when we were talking Frog pond, yeah. The pog pond. Do you want the ring of the kingdom? What is this? I don't need such a thing. All right. I don't know. Any general hint for what I'm supposed to do? I just so so little direction. Customer, please, please come in. Do you need any money? You come from money, haven't you? I can arrange a trade, shall we say? Perhaps something of value for some money? Hmm. Ah, oh, no. I see by that look on your face, perhaps you have to purchase something. Wear the ring, and it'll unlock a new path. Oh. Okay. Okay. I know. I know exactly where to go now. Thank you. I fell asleep in the middle of the day and just woke up. No. Well, I hope you slept well. Well, at least got some good rest in. I know what to do. This is, it did open a door. It just wasn't the door I thought it was gonna be. It's the door in the fucking Tower of Disciples with the dragon on it. That's why he said to seek our, our friends of the air or whatever he said. Door opens at your touch. <gasps> the ring of the kingdom is green. You're in We did it. All right, good. And now we got like a carrot with the dragon on it. You found the dragon flute. You take the instruments. You decided to take the fascinating flute. The fancy and fascinating flute. What happens if I use that? <laughs> you are very disappointed that nothing has happened. So... That inscription said wings, fang, and roars. So we have the flute, and we have the fang. But what about wings? We still haven't solved this thing with the stable. <laughs> uh... Order some fried chicken. I wish. Wings, bangs, and roars. 
And we haven't ever been able to do anything with this, that guy who's forgetting who he is that's in this room. Ah. Yep. <laughs> we died again. It's a good sound effect for falling. Ah! Here there's a sign that says, don't set fire to this place. So of course we have to do everything possible to set it on fire. Slip and fall death, the most deadly kind of death. Letting you know, like, oh, you could fall. Be careful. <laughs> wow, we're in the fourth tower. It's a good warning to kids to watch their footing. <laughs> Most adventurers' death are caused by falling. This is true. The stairwell winds around the tower. Yes, it does. Let's see. What's this say? The relief work on this ancient sculpture is amazingly lifelike. <laughs> it looks kind of silly to me. Hmm. There's this which is golden. Hey, and there's a slot that we can put in the fang. Yes! It's a big fang. You place the fang in a slot in the relief. Sweet. Amazingly. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look at the crumbling. The dust coming out. Cool. Huh. Amazingly lifelike. <laughs> what if that's photorealistic for how dragons look, really? I guess it could be. Who am I to say? I haven't seen a dragon in the game yet. There's also... What is this? door. We can go in here. What is this? I see nothing suspicious. There's a ladder going down and a book. We love these. You see the ancient words, the last dragon. Take the tattered volume. Wow. He placed the book amongst the others. Um, let's read that. I finished my report and good Master Lakmir sighed with a sad expression. I told him that there were no more dragons. No more known dragons. I told him that the fabled last dragon was nowhere to be found. What I did not tell the good master was that I did not believe that at all. The last dragon in the last book? That's really the last book in the game? Wow. To complete my studies, I was given the task to discover where the last dragon was. A difficult thing, since dragons have been, were said to have long been extinct. Like any good student, I accepted my task. I studied the old tomes, interviewed many people, and traveled far. Here is what I have pieced together, and I hope I have shown wisdom in withholding my findings. There is purported to be one remaining dragon, and it is Lakmir himself who discovered this beast. I thought it was about to say that Lakmir himself was the last remaining dragon. I do not know from where, but I assume it to be distant. I have discovered that this past season, during festivals, something strange happened. It is well documented that on the night of the festival, a powerful storm descended from the slopes of the Gatekeeper. The slopes of Gatekeeper? What? The castle inhabitants rushed indoors to escape the fury of the storm. The strange lights and fires that were glimpsed from behind closed windows were never truly explained. Until now, at the height of the storm, the legendary dragon keeper Denarth was said to have entered the dragon tower. Why he was out in such a deadly storm was not known. But others saw others tell that they saw the hulking Denarth struggling to control a huge beast upon the top of the tower. The golden beast which illuminated when illuminated by lightning bore a huge wingspan that blotted out the sky. 
This last part is always dismissed as dismissed as drunken musings because of its source. But I wondered and pieced together more. At the height of the storm before the strange lights began, others tell of Lakmir sneaking about and heading towards the tower. This is so unlike him that he was described so accurately that I cannot dismiss this portion either. <laughs> the sorcerers in parts of the castle tell of feeling a huge expulsion of magical energy. Someone was casting a great spell, but no one knew who or why. The strange lights glimpsed in the sky imply something magical was afoot. Though Lakmir has always denied any such thing, I have always found it curious that the master wizard of the castle did not sense something magical in his midst that night. The fury abated, but the storm continued until morning. The guardsmen tell of seeing the solemn figure of Denarth leaving the castle in the early hours. All that he had in the world was strapped across his back. He was never seen again. I believe that the last dragon was on the tower that night. I believe that Lakmir was forced to do something he did not wish. I feel he knows that I know the story, but that he wishes it to remain a secret. Why that is, I cannot say. I hope my decisions in this are wise, and that the last dragon and the secret on the tower will remain as such, such a time as they are needed. That's a cool looking dragon. Uh, I think we filled all the slots, but there's also, it seems to scroll, so there may yet be more, more books in the game. Oh, dragon. <laughs> Whoa! This precious gem looks like the eye from some predator. Take the gem. Looks cool. Hydrate and stretch. Ah. I stretch. Still no idea what that thing about the stable was. I feel like maybe it could be used as like a diversion to get those guards away from wherever we're supposed to go, but I don't know. This is a cool room. All the crescent moon textures on the wall and stars. It's so blue. Ah. You are right on track with the stable. On the right track with the stable? Alright, cool. Thank you. Honestly, seems like a red herring because this seems like the end of the game. Really? This is the end of the game? <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have to go to confront Belzar at some point. And to get in there, the guards have to be lured away from the door that they're guarding because they're not gonna just let us go in there. So I think that at some point, maybe the gate will be opened and then that guy will go away. And then we can use the flint to light the fermented horse feed on fire and cause a diversion. I get that feeling. I mean, this game is called The Trials of the Four Towers, and we are in the fourth tower, so who knows? It's such a cool environment. <laughs> like how the ceiling is one gigantic smudged texture. Cool. It's silent. Scary. What's this? Nothing, I guess. This place is very Zelda. Yeah, it does feel like that. You glance at the title. Words of Denarth. Take the old book. Yep. More reading. The ancient tome shall make for good reading. Looks neatly organized. You find nothing you wish to take. What is this? <laughs> a lute. You see a musical instrument vaguely resembling a harp or lyre, but without strings. That's really weird looking. Without strings? Hey, that's what the hair of the giant was for? <laughs> you carefully fit the piece of hair to the instrument, and it now seems complete. With a ghostly whisper, the musical instrument vanishes before your eyes. 
Okay. <laughs> uh. All right. Let's see. We got the words of Denarth. What do you got to say, Denarth? I, Denarth, last of the dragon waters leave today. Of all the things I have done, last night was the worst. It was a festival, a time of happiness, of joy. But I shall not celebrate. Instead, I mourn the necessity of doing what needed doing last night. <laughs> Facing up to full life. I must fulfill my family name and face up to full life consequences. The season started off with great promise. I had finished designs of my dragon lyre, a truly remarkable design that would have added greater control over the beast. But now that lies unfinished at my feet as I prepare to leave, I shall leave it here in mourning. To my greatest sorrow, it was if it was under the watch of Denarth that the last dragon was seen. It is hope there is hope that the dragon may one day be reborn. At least that is what the good master says. But I feel nothing but remorse this day. Yes, I shall leave my lyre here in mourning and its silence shall remain as a symbol of my failure to my clan and my brethren in song and flight. Okay, so we already fixed that, so we got a problem solved, I guess. Idiot couldn't find the giant hair in the same damn castle. Huh. <laughs> Dragon statues. Too bad Squibbling isn't here. It appears both wings move. Uh, uh, how am I supposed to know what to do here? <laughs> what? Seems like the left wing, or the right wing there. So right, left. Right. Right, left, right. Right, left, right, right. Got to play the Halo theme. <laughs> It's a real thing in Halo 3, by the way. There's a secret tide behind playing the Halo theme somewhere. <laughs> really? Is it the dragon flute? I'm supposed to. Whoops. Da, 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 da. But what help is that? Do I have to go back to that guy at the inn? Hold on. Or the the harp guy. Let's save nine point five K more scissor mans. Oh. I think Micah said that she was uh ready for Hell Redeem as well. She didn't say what it was though. What she was going to do. Is anybody else on the way to getting one? Like close enough that <laughs> It's like in the near future. 
You're on like 82k? Oh, do you have any ideas? Don't tell them, but only 90k more. <laughs> You're too far. Oh. Soon for you. It's a secret. Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, I feel like it might be that that bard. We gotta go talk to. And he'll play us a song. Totally not redeeming big mother truckers. Ugh. At least it's not big rigs over the road racing. You can't even make that funny for an hour. You could play big rigs for like 10 minutes and it's like, haha, the game everybody already knows about sure is bad. <laughs> Redeem Euro Truck Sim? That game's good though. Maybe I'll redeem Lifeline on PS2. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Redeeming a 20 minute game just so it gets on the wall. <laughs> I've seen Super Great Friend play Lifeline. Leave the room? Okay. Play me a song. Is Lifeline the one where you have to do a racist accent to play it? What do you mean? <laughs> it's a it's a microphone game for the PS2 where you have to give this like woman commands. Alright, play me the song. This is definitely not. That's definitely not it. doesn't understand you no matter how you speak yeah <laughs> doesn't even work in the Japanese version I thought that it was popular in Japan it was like a big seller in Japan you restore her HP by playing guessing games and stuff Lifeline is a bad game. I was screaming, show me your feet for like three hours and she never did it. You say things like this in my chat and then you go in and post like, go to horny jail, get horny executed on Discord. I think that you may be a hypocrite. I'm just saying. All right, how are we supposed to know what to do? The difference is I'm memeing. Yeah, but memeing is... There's sincerity underneath it. Does anybody know how I'm supposed to know what song... What song I'm supposed to put in? Still counts, even if it's shitposting, yeah. We don't have any other musical instruments. It's always like that. It starts as a joke and in a couple months the feet thing will be completely serious. I have a friend who like basically forcibly gave himself a foot fetish. <laughs> like he willed himself to it. Put in 20. What's new, Pussy Kates, with a single? It's not unusual halfway through. How can that even work? It isn't bad. IMO. Yeah, I know. It's good. So, this is. That's one of the right ones. This one has to be the. Dun, 
Am I supposed to just like figure this out somehow? Dun, 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 dun. Tried looking it up, but they just give the answer and don't say how they got it. <laughs> what is the answer? Because the only guy in the game that plays music is the the bard. And he was not playing anything that uh, sounded anything like this. Graphy's model doesn't even have feet, so it's not the best fetish to have. It will, though. And I have my model is, I mean, my design has big boots. And I have drawn, I have drawn my feet before <laughs> a number of times. Big fans, TBH. Pick or we won't believe you. You can find you can find it on my Twitter. <laughs> Top left dragon, right wing. Top left dragon, left wing. Bottom right dragon, left wing. Bottom. What the hell? Top left dragon, right wing. Top left dragon, left wing. Bottom right dragon, left wing. I have no idea how you're supposed to figure this out. Uh, do your homework yourself. This one's frustrating because I could swear we've heard these chords in the dragon statues before. Well, we have we have this flute. Which plays like the the right wing sounds. Chat is horny again because of a lifeline ship post. You're the one who seeded it, fool. Maybe you should stop posting if you don't want to incur this. There's a weekly schedule with Graffy barefoot and an address. Yes, that is true. Ah, so. What's wrong with chat just being passively horny all the time? Yeah, I don't know why Siberia is so, so hateful of this. This is like a VTuber thing. <laughs> Most VTubers say stuff like this occasionally, at least. Bottom left, left wing, bottom right, right wing. Are you supposed to just like figure out what sounds good as a song? Okay, <laughs> thank you. I don't know how we were supposed to figure that out. Got to music craft. <laughs> Maybe we just like missed something somewhere. I don't know. Dragon! Wow. Look at his little stubby arms. Are you okay, dragon? Time to ride the dragon. Your path curves and turns and nears an end, or perhaps only a beginning. Yes, a beginning. A beginning which shall soon end for good or ill. Now a choice must be made. Do you, so unfairly chosen, choose to take the mantle? If so, then return the dragon, take the power, and confront the evil. How does foot fetish work is still an interesting thing to think about. What, do you mean like why it happens? Or... What? <laughs> Once you have that Majora's Mask puzzle where you have to make a song with Zoras. Really confusing. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember being a little frustrated by that. 
Your jaw drops as you behold the legendary Staff of Ages. Take the staff. Meow. The staff seems curiously dead as you take hold of the thing. Wakey wakey. Very majestic. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is awesome. the stable now. Oh. Now there's guards looking around. Seems really loud on my end, but it doesn't look too bad on the mixer. The good old stable. Hey, he's gone. That means we can set the stable on fire. Snap, snap, snap. The flames soon spread, devouring everything as pet. The heat quickly becomes unbearable. You decide it may be time to leave. Isn't that a line from... From old Shadowgate? The music is so cool. But it doesn't catch fire. That would be terrible. smell vision Burning horse stable. <laughs> now we're in a stealth section. Who the fuck is this? Look at this man's face. Who are you? And what exactly are you up to? I do not like your look. We gone. Okay. Uh, we're supposed to be here, it seems. Oh. Aha! I knew you would show. You are surely the one who started the fire. Ah. <laughs> Caught. You struggle in vain in the powerful grip of the soldier of the Black Guard. You like fire, halfling? He gloats as he cuffs you hard to the side of the head. The world spins and you lose consciousness and then you remember nothing more. I thought it was going to say that he would burn us to death or something. Continue. Uh, whoa. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's a guy over here too, though. I feel like this is not the way to go. So we just came from there. Uh... To get in that door, I'm pretty sure. Okay. This is, uh... 
Seems very obtuse. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. this Saul? I don't know. But what exactly are you up to? I do not like your look. Be gone. I don't know how we would know if this guy was supposed to be Saul. have her pendant, my mother's pendant. Tell me how this is so. What? Are we supposed to know this because we knew that Saul went to join Belzar? <laughs> no, by the one, I am ruined. She is dead. All this was for her. All that I've tried to do was for her to be proud to see me succeed. <laughs> what the hell? But it is meaningless now. Oh, how I've sinned. She would have been ashamed. I murdered. I am in league with evil. I helped lead an unholy resurrection. <laughs> know this. I will make amends. You say you've come to stop this madness? Then I will help as much as I can, so leave the soldiers to me. What? The way in is open. I bid you hurry, elfling. For everything is in place and the final spell begins. <laughs> okay. Exciting. Thrilling. Woo. You've reached the chamber of holding. A malevolent aura surrounds you. You steal your will as you prepare to confront the coming evil. I should save my game. Cool atmosphere. Hmm. There's a door here. Huh? Oh. And who is this? An impetuous rodent who dares to think he can stop me? I'm afraid, young whelp, that this cannot be allowed to happen. But fear not, for I shall just depose of you quickly and painfully. <laughs> With an evil grin, the deadly mage casts a look your way. He unleashes his power. Bathed in a white light, you quickly feel your limbs freeze up. The cold sensation envelops your entire body as you are quickly turned to stone. I've seen this on DeviantArt. Your player the player character was a senator this whole time. <laughs> what do you mean? Getting, getting deposed. Okay, I, I, I know what you mean now. If you don't even matter. If you didn't know me better, you'd say this is the staff of ages. But even though the resemblance is uncanny, you know it's not the true staff. So, become. I think this is a fetish. Becoming stone. Oh, it happened again. You grasp the staff of ages. Its power coursing through you. Wait a minute. Too late. The power of the staff jolts through you. I got. Runs through you like a hot jolt, paralyzing you. You realize the mistake of handling the staff without the proper protection. What? The proper protection? Protect protection? What? What isn't a fetish? Yeah. Good point. Uh... What? Oh! Hmm. 
The sound of someone approaching echoes through the car the stone chamber. That's what that just said, I think. Ah, hiding. Coming stone with three weed smoking GFs. <laughs> and now I predicted Siberia will post Hecatea 1W. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like this game is just going to abruptly end one of these times. The wizard bends over the staff and begins chanting, Darkness dwells below. I call to you, master, from the power of darkness, come forward. Shadows replace light. I beseech you, master, from the realm of shadows, come forth. I set you free from the ancient bonds. Arise. Whoa. I didn't even notice the staff changed. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that is some N64 fire. <laughs> Sorry it's so loud. Whoa! Huh? Man got smoked! Holy shit! With a feeble shake of your head, you regain consciousness. So, the end of the path is reached. The next few moments will tell. You have fared well, Halfling. A fine hero indeed. If only I could have manifested sooner. As it was, I could only help shield you. Yes, the accursed Belzar is dead, obliterated by the blast from Staff. <laughs> you showed ingenuity, I'm impressed, but alas, his spell was complete. Can you feel the evil power? The Warlock Lord rises, screening against his bonds. I will do what little I can now, but that will not to be enough. My brother is strong. Stronger than I, if only the seed of prophecy was here, if only Lord Jair's seed were here. He alone could wield the staff as it was meant to be, he alone. Ah well, hope remains, eh halfling, we must always have hope. You have done well, but it is, but it is now for others to finish, if finish we can. Black Mirror is just using you to summon the dank lord. I don't believe it. He's our friend. Blackmere would never do this. Holy shit. <laughs> Got absolutely fucking toasted. That cutscene was amazing. Um. What do we do? Whoa. This is fucking awesome. So many great sound effects in that cutscene. <laughs> huh, huh, huh. Wow. Path is littered with debris and rubble from the crumbling castle. It's very cool to see this area that I've been running around for like hours recontextualized like this. A massive portion of the wall has fallen and blocks the way forward. We could step over that. I think so. I almost wish there was more of this game, but I'm kind of glad we finished it. Whoa, he's big. <laughs> Look at that expression. <laughs> Is he just tweening around? <laughs> uh, he's just a flat JPEG. This is amazing. 
wave upon wave of venomous hate radiates out from the form of the warlock lord. Well, they did say we need Lord Jair himself. The heroic countenance of the statue offers little hope. You read a small inscription. In the hour of darkest night, I shall be there to serve and serve, save and serve, serve and save the key. Uh, I can't read. I can't read. I can't speak. Cardboard Dark Lord. Well, it's the intimidation factor that counts. Your second least favorite chat member returns. What? No way. Ash, you're great. Why would you ever think that he were my second least favorite chat member? Unless you are. No, I've been here in Nash too. No, you're great. What the hell? Y'all. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? You talking about me? No self-confidence. What the hell's wrong with y'all? You're great. I'm always happy to have you here. Um... Ring of Ring of the Kingdom? Oh. <laughs> In an act of reverence, you place the Ring of the Kingdom on the statue of Lord Jair. Tried the staff first? Yeah, I guess so. Um we placed the ring on him. We also have a bracelet. Self-deprecation is my stick. I mean my username has trash in it, does it? Oh, it's an anagram. <laughs> I see. Bracelet? Can't be used here. Uh, dragon flute? Ring-a-ding-ding-dum, let's save the kingdom. Surely the solution here is to give Jair the ape statue. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Hope Shadowgate is doing well. We're doing pretty good. I think this is the end of the game. Oh, we just got killed again, though. We were statuefied. We statuefied and bimbo-fied. <sighs> what are we going to do? What is it that we are supposed to do? At this point, I'm just going to keep getting worse and worse to, to destroy Siberia's mind. Um, Dragon Tears? No. Um. Hate when I get turned into a sexy statue. A date worse than death. Then I'll just unsub and leave. Would you really though? Do you want to know? Yes. I don't know what to do. Is it all the rings? Am I supposed to use all of them? Fate. I mean fate. Fuck. <laughs> it says give staff and then the ring. But if I try to give the staff then... I just instantly get vaporized. Are you willing to find out? I don't know. Is it really so bad? You seem to be very upset by it. Like, even before and after using the ring, the staff just seems to kill me. Maybe wear the ring while you give the staff? Uh, too late. <laughs> Simply kill it first. The ring of the kingdom radiates a faint glow as it rests on the statue's finger. Oh, I can remove the ring. Okay. You warily grab the ring of the kingdom. No! I was trying to put it on! <laughs> Damn it! Alright. Simply kill it first. Kill what? <laughs> you put on the Ring of the Kingdom. Oh, I guess that is kind of like a effect that would make you think that you are being protected. 
Oh, all right. That was it then. <laughs> you place the Staff of Ages in the statue's hands. It fits perfectly. All right. In an act of reverence, place the ring on the kingdom on the statue of Lord Jer. Whoa. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm number one. Nice. <laughs> nice. You just like javelin through that. Is our dragon gonna come back? Yes! <laughs> Holy shit. With an inhuman cry, the warlock lord implodes. Your joy quickly turns to fear as the ground lurches beneath you. It's time to leave. You think as you grab the dragon flute. Answering your call, the last dragon swoops to the ground. You vault to its back. Rising into the air, you see the castle descend into the ground, pulled under by the cataclysmic release of magic. All that's left are the four towers. The rest is buried, its secrets now hidden. Keeping tight hold of the dragon's neck, you wonder where your adventures will take you. I mean, pretty, all the secrets were really in the four towers. I don't know, I don't know why that would really solve anything if the towers didn't go down with it. Great job. Just said you were asleep for the start of the stream. Oh, that's okay. You didn't miss like uh, too crazy much of it. I think we did like one tower, the Tower of Trials. Did it go through his hand? <laughs> it seemed to do that. Just unsummon him easy. Missed a lot of the game, seemed neat though. I really enjoyed it. I think this is uh, easily one of the best N64 games that I've played at least. I don't know, it was very captivating. The puzzles were mostly good. Some of them were pretty annoying. Uh, I still don't know how we were supposed to know <laughs> the song puzzle or the puzzle for the water wheels. That we had to like turn the wheels and then turn that lever to drain the water. I don't know how you were supposed to know what to do there. Um, but, I mean, most of the rest of the game was amazing. Atmosphere is amazing, graphics are great, music's great. Um, you know, nice progression, atmosphere, characters are kind of fun. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> I'm really glad to have gotten around to this, because, like I said, um, I really loved... Uh, Shadowgate, the classic one, for the Game Boy Color. I played a lot as a kid, and um, I was always excited when I saw ads for this and started seeing it in store stores and stuff, and my friend and I rented it once. We only played it for a little bit, and uh, only got like a little ways into the game. So, finally, <laughs> another loose thread from my childhood has been uh, tied up. Nice music here in the credits. We've been actually finishing quite a few games recently, haven't we? <laughs> we finished uh, Urban Yeti, and then Water Nohara, and then Juggernaut, and now this. After such a long drought, we really took some uh, missteps, I think. <laughs> I think that Demon Souls was a bad choice. <laughs> Bless Urban Yeti for breaking the curse. I guess before Urban Yeti, we did beat Cruelty Squad, but for some reason, I just don't feel don't feel like I can put that on the wall. I don't know why. <laughs> Graffy becoming a completionist. Well, I mean, I do try to complete most of the games that we play. 
Unless they're like totally unbearable or like break. <laughs> Club Nintendo Magazine style. Car key. Axie. Spot. <laughs> Demon Souls was comfy? Yeah, but nobody wanted to watch it. Nobody came to those streams. I think that Demon Souls is like some of the most unpopular streams I've ever done. And I don't I don't care that much about numbers, but it did make me feel kinda I don't know, bad. <laughs> it made me feel like am I doing something wrong? I don't know, it kinda shook my confidence a little bit, so. And I wasn't I wasn't really having fun playing it either. Like I don't know, I just felt like it was it was boring boring to stream and boring to watch. So it wasn't the new and shiny Demon Souls, but I think the people might have renewed interest in the old one. Considering um you know how how uh mixed some of the fan reception to the new one is. And you wanted to see it but you were always busy, that's fine. New Demon Souls is ugly. You like the old one? Yeah. I don't understand why they changed so much visually. <laughs> you shut up to the first time you were playing Baroque. I was playing Baroque and thought that it was a game only you knew. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I got that game uh, for $5 at a GameStop in 2013 or 2014, maybe. And uh, I had just traded in my Xbox 360, I think and all my games, and I had store credit, and I was like, I want to get some like weird games for the Wii. I was talking to the guy there, it was like very personable and very, very nice guy. I was like, I want to get some like weird games for the Wii or some like bizarre like shovelware or something. And he was like, how about this game? It's called Baroque, like it's an interesting game. You should check it out. And I was like looking at it and I was like, huh, it has like anime looking cover art. It seems like an interesting game. <laughs> so I just like got it because it was only five dollars or something, and uh, it's interesting. But I don't know. It didn't seem it didn't seem very streamable. I I want to play it someday, but it was very frustrating to play. It feels like the combat is not quite. I don't know. It feels like it's unintentionally frustrating <laughs> and annoying to play, but the game is very compelling and the story. You had new interest in the original, considering you don't like the new one's redesigns. Redesigns largely play into Western design trends, which reads as really lazy and unpassionate to you. Yeah. Losing its identity. Hey, they showed this in the the, the attract mode, like the very last like tower of the game. <laughs> kind of giving it away. I like how it's clear they just like recorded like someone's controller inputs. And it's like kind of awkward because the game is not exactly easy to control. <laughs> wow, look at that texture. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> Honestly, one stream of it is enough to get the idea. I guess so, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I do like to finish games, especially games that most people wouldn't play themselves, you know. I don't think most people would get through Juggernaut. I don't think most people would be able to play through this game, <laughs> especially not like without just consulting a guide every step of the way. So that's kind of why I stream. It's just uh, I don't know to show games that people might not otherwise ever see. I guess. Graffy got tricked into feeding his used game sales quota. No, he seems sincere lose this identity no matter what being handed to an entirely different company yeah uh, blue point had done like good remasters before right what happened to them they're just like not prepared to be like their own studio or something in broke one thing to do if you ever go back is attack the villagers they have some pretty funny dialogue if you do yeah i think i hit like maybe maybe a couple of them like that guy with the long neck he grosses me out, so I hit him. I stream to fight God. Well, that's a noble goal. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get him one of these days. Uh, man, what are we gonna play after this now? I have some ideas, actually. I don't know if I want to go right back to playing FMV games, but I do have a few of those lined up. And what else can we play? Siren, yeah, we will play Siren Wednesday and Thursday. I'm gonna do it. 
I promise I'll really play Siren again. <laughs> We're really going to go back to playing Siren. Uh, <laughs> even if I'm scared. We're still good at the porting part. I just get the minimum budget for the visual refresh, even though that's the main point from Sony. Yeah. A lot of the assets feel kind of rushed. Siren, yeah. It's been 84 years. Pick up the elf statue. You fool. You missed the elf statue. Being scared. Siren 4 will be out by the time Graffy finishes the first one. That's not true. If I get back into a rhythm with it again, we'll be we'll be knocking it out pretty fast. I really I want to get to Blood Curse more than anything. Um Yeah, I'm gonna be looking at I was looking at my uh my list of games to play for the channel earlier. Uh, so I'll just keep I'll just keep looking at that and pick something out. Maybe something a little more action oriented. I was thinking about Nightmare Creatures. I did say that we were gonna play that on the weekend, but then I started playing uh, <laughs> uh, Shadowgate instead, which I think was a fine choice because I think that my hands were kind of in pain. Would Nightmare Creatures 2 be after that? I mean, I would try it. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. That was one of the games that I remember getting terrible reviews, though, when I was younger and I would read bad, bad video game reviews for entertainment. 2 is the better one, really. <laughs> it's not true because the studio is gone, but it would take that long to finish. It wouldn't take that long to finish. Come on, have some faith in me. Ha! Um, oh, I finished my my fourth run of Resident Evil Village, and I got two hours and 28 minutes of, of time. I was basically taking my time up until the fourth Lord, and then I started, or it was really like right before, the part before that, and then I started booking it, and I got most of the rest of the game done in like, like, 40 minutes after that. It's so fast if you just don't stop for anything. Do Village of Shadows? I actually did start a run of that today and uh, got to the castle. But I'm scared. It's really hard. Even with like infinite magnum and stuff, it's like uh, very, very scary. Like the enemies, I think if you get grabbed once, you go down to like critical health where like even getting like, you know, somebody grazes you with their their fingernail you die the armored guy in the field yeah he did surprise me <laughs> i was like i was like holy shit and also there was a guy that was randomly inside a house that had never had anyone in it before and i went in there and ran into him and i was like oh my god like i got really startled by that even big sis gets scared yeah you've seen me play hell knight and siren one i get scared playing those Ash trying to come to my rescue as I admit to it. <laughs> Honestly, some of the games you've played, I wouldn't get past the first screen. What do you mean? Which ones? Do you not have all the health upgrades? No, I do. I hate getting grabbed in that game because the lichens, like their teeth look so stupid. <laughs> I just hate to see their teeth up close. It looks like shit. It makes me mad. I just hate to see that. And the cutscene is so long. I pretend not to see it. <laughs> what are you spraying drop for? Their teeth are cool. The animations are painfully long though. Yep, same as with, uh, you know, all the other games. I guess the molded and seven just kind of hit you, right? They didn't get you in like a long grab animation. 
Siren, Dark Messiah, others probably. Are you a fraidy cat? <laughs> Are you scared of video games? Always spraying drop. We don't need a reason. <laughs> drop unable to defend themselves because they're sitting at the computer going. <laughs> animation on the drill arm guys attacks are like 15 minutes long. I don't think I've ever been killed by one of them. I don't like them though. They're pretty annoying enemies. Yes. Huh? That's fine. That's why you watch other people play scary games, right? I'm kind of uh, shocked by how much of the game they're showing in these these demo modes. Well, hey, there's drop. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> well, I'm gonna probably have to go soon because I gotta go to the store and get some lettuce for Bunny. So, yeah, we gotta get that done. Hey, hey, ya, yeah, hey, ya, yeah. chomp, chomp, lettuce. Yeah, she has romaine lettuce every night. It's all out of context, so it's probably fine. Thanks for streaming on Monday, Crafty. Yeah, I just couldn't, I just couldn't get this game out of my mind. And I felt like if I waited until next weekend, I would uh, have forgotten everything, <laughs> and I would be helpless. Get me a soda, please. Okay, what kind of soda you want? Get me a feet, thanks. <laughs> a feet of lettuce to go with the head of lettuce. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, this is great. Excellent game. Thanks for the stream. Yep. Thank you for coming. <laughs> That's really good, Nyx. <laughs> Pepsi? Okay. It's not a feed fetish. I want braised pig trotters. What? What is that? What do they taste like? Trotters. <laughs> These are really good. <laughs> These emote combinations. Pig. Oh. I'm not the biggest fan of, of pork. Gotta admit. I don't want to try like barbecue sometime though. I've never really eaten barbecue much. What do you think it is about the N64 that makes... It looks so much more solid than the PlayStation. Like everything feels like it's... I don't know corporeal PlayStation games always feel like they're like about to fall apart or something still thinking about hell game choice well I'm interested to see what you pick I'll BBQ you in hell with the hell game redeem oh no I'm kind of scared of what you're gonna pick to be honest <laughs> dot wiping tears out of her eyes from the fumes Zelda 3DO for heck redeem PlayStation 3D was basically faked. It's really weird. <laughs> really? Everything has blockerness in N64. How do you mean? It feels chunky. Vertex jiggle probably. Yeah, it's probably that. And the texture warping. And sometimes like polygons just like go missing in PlayStation games I've noticed, which never happened in this game. I don't know if that's an emulator thing for PlayStation games or what, but there's like Z sorting errors and all kinds of weird stuff going on. Uh, N64 felt kind of closer together or something too. Like there was a lack of draw distance. I guess so. More intimate because of that. Feels more like polygons than PlayStation. Maybe PlayStation just used more 2D figures. Yeah. You open your PlayStation. The games exit the screen. What? <laughs> what do you mean? 
PS1 had jittery pixels and warping textures, while N64 was more solid. Yeah, it doesn't have that weird affine texture warping or the weird like vertex precision stuff. You honestly never liked the look of N64 3D at the time. Yeah, it's kind of hard to make something look good on the N64, but it was definitely possible. This game looks amazing. Like it's smudgy, yeah, but they really did a lot. Like. Like, I kind of am curious how they got this game to look so good. <laughs> Dreamcast had neat shaders. Yeah. We gotta play some Dreamcast games sometimes. I got, uh, I have a Dreamcast. Ugh, why, why have we not done that yet? <laughs> Do prefer the general style of PSX games. Beautiful. Yeah, they're very nice. I think that, like, at this resolution of textures, having them not be filtered is probably better than otherwise. The original Ikaruga. Always wanted to play Seaman. Yeah, it seems like an interesting game. <laughs> Dreamcast is powerful, only for the most cultured. There's some strange games on there. I would really oh man, I don't even want to I don't even want to give it away. <laughs> There's some fucking insane games coming up eventually. Someday. Dreamcast is more of a summer console. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Dreamcast basically has to be played on original hardware. Shit was literally built different. I mean, there's emulation for Dreamcast is coming along, like Redream, and there's like, I think there's another emulator that's, uh, that's getting there. Like Shenmue, I think on Redream is like almost perfect now. I really want to play Shenmue. Maybe. Should we start playing Shenmue? <laughs> I really want to play that game all the way through. No reason to use Dreamcast emulation when the console has no DRM. Yeah, except I would have to hook my CD drive back up, which is like annoying. Dreamcast feels like you should go barefoot in a tank top playing with a cable on your feet. What? I guess I can, I guess I can see that. Yes, go for it. No. Why not? Why no, Cerebro? <laughs> I can give you my copy of Shenmue 3. I already watched Super Great Friend play that. And it seemed okay. No, not forklift and gambling. N64 skimped on its graphic memory, meaning it had to stretch textures to shit. Yeah, it's like had to fit in like a very small, small amount of space. I find it hard how funny. I find it funny how every Dreamcast game is some of the most infamously hard to port faithfully. Every port of Sonic Adventure, like the shaders look bad. And the Shenmue 1 and 2 HD version, like those are terrible. I don't know what the hell's wrong with the, that port, but it's like it's broken after years of patches. Like, like apparently the combat is like all fucked up. Dreamcast did have like a summer vibe to it now that I think about it. Shenmue 3 takes or Shenmue takes place in the winter time though. Shenmue 3 got so much hate. Yeah, I don't know why. Like reviewers didn't like it because it's a very antiquated design. And people were just mad, why didn't you modernize this? I don't know, because it's Shenmue. <laughs> Shenmue 3 is just more Shenmue 1 and 2, but all the people who pretended to have played Shenmue 1 and 2 realized they actually hate Shenmue. Yeah, exactly. They're like, why why didn't you modernize this? Shenmue is kinda a dumb game? No! <laughs> Shenmue is awesome. Conceptually, like, Shenmue is one of my favorite games. I love the concept of a game where all you do is talk to people and stand around waiting. <laughs> Shenmue 3's combat is worse, that's my onion. Yeah, they definitely did seem like that. There's not really like anything better than Shenmue 1 and 2's combat. People always are like, Yakuza is like even better Shenmue. No, the combat is terrible in Yakuza. By comparison. Most of the hate you saw for Shenmue was people screeching about EGS? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. It's so funny watching every Shenmue fan turn on 3 for being the same game. Like, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember being amazed you could use a gachapon machine in Shenmue? It was very detailed for the time. Very uh, intricately detailed.
Yakuza's going turn-based going forward. Yeah, I still gotta get around to trying uh, Yakuza 7. Shenmue 3 combat is worse than the first 2D, to be fair. Yeah, watching Super Great Friend play it, the combat did not look very fun. Yakuza is fun, but it's not as cool in terms of your actual execution. Yeah, the, it's more about like the cutscenes and the story. The combat can be kind of fun in Yakuza, but it, it doesn't feel, it feels like so imprecise and like clumsy a lot of the time to me. You can pet a cat in Shenmue. This is true. You can pet a cat. You can give the cat fish, give the cat a little food. You want to play Zero for sure. Yakuza feels like a bar fight on crack. Yakuza is fun because this basically meter goes up in good feel form. I don't know, I never I never really found it satisfying to fight in those games. It became more of, when I was playing Kiwami, it became more of an annoyance than, annoyance any, than anything, like, playing it. I didn't even bother doing the arena fight quests because they were so fucking tedious. <laughs> I started playing Kiwami too, but I don't know how I feel about it so far. Shenmue's claim to fame is that you could do a bunch of stuff and everything was really interactive, but in a post-Half-Life 2 world that isn't as impressive as it used to be sadly. I think so though. It's like you do that and most of the game is like completely non-violent though. I don't know. I think that it's uh, claim to fame was being a really intricately created like you know real real world feeling location that wasn't focused around gameplay it was like you know about atmosphere and like you know making it feel lived in and 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 human which you know <laughs> with the dub in Shenmue things seeming human is a little hard to achieve because everybody talks so fucking bizarrely but I don't know it's a lot of fucking smacking dudes I think the combat and Kiwami ones are just not as well balanced. Things still aren't really interactive nowadays, yeah? Like, the fact that you can open, like, all the drawers in Ryo's house, and most of them have nothing in them, I think that's amazing. There's no reason to do it, but you can. Just like in real life, there's a lot of things that there's no reason to do it, but you can do it. You can give it your own meaning. Grippy. Stream Yakuza Dead Souls. No. No. Half-Life 2 is a benchmark for interactivity. Picked up a can and did some stuff physics puzzles. It's quaint now, but back in 2006 that shit was mind-blowing. Yeah, I mean I do remember the pick up the can thing was like, whoa, that's very cool. Think about the Italian guy Mario saying I caramba as if it's Italian once a week. What? <laughs> the one E3 you went to, you saw a presentation for Shenmue, and you swear the JP devs seemed so happy with the English voice acting, thinking it was perfect. I don't think anyone in charge was fluent. So what happened with Shenmue, the voice acting, the English voice acting, is Yu Suzuki insisted on only using English speakers that lived in Japan, and he insisted that they needed to look like the characters they were going to be playing. Like, they picked, uh, what's his name, Cory, Cory something? The guy who played Ryo? They picked him because he looked like Ryo and he had studied martial arts. And they literally eventually ran out of English voice actors to hire that lived in Japan, and they had to fly people in from overseas to Japan to, to dub more characters. <laughs> uh, that's because Yu Suzuki is a psycho. That does not surprise me. I think that it has like a special life to it because of that. It's a decision no one would fucking do, but he did it. That's kind of amazing. I like, I think that that game it wouldn't be the same without the without the dub. Off to bed. Thanks for the stream again. Okay. Sleep well, Penrills, and thank you for coming. <laughs> I 
Don't forget this is the guy that made Virtua Fighter, the one fighting game no one likes. People do like Virtua Fighter though. It has like a hardcore fan base, but it's just kind of died because 3D fighters died and only Tekken was able to like really live on. I guess Soul Calibur is like still around, but uh. <clears throat> Half-Life has the Seinfeld problem where it gets crapped on by young as who don't get that it's the line in the sand between eras. Is it? I don't know. I always thought people still, still liked Half-Life. One and two, like pretty universally. I remember seeing the trailer and going, OMG, this dub, and seeing his big dumb smile like it was the best thing ever. <laughs> Anyone who would put a block button in a 3D fighting game is a dangerous person to be <laughs> in charge of a game. Remember, Virtual Fighter only had three buttons. The part where he's going around asking for the gang is amazing. You know? played Half-Life 2 and it was new and honestly I like Half-Life 1 more. Yeah, same here. I'm not a big fan of Half-Life 2, to be honest. It really loses steam over the course of the game. It's it's way too long. Like, the entire last part of Half-Life 2 in the city that is, like, dog shit. That is, like, absolutely fucking terrible. And Episode 1 is bad. And Episode 2 is, like, it's okay. That, that game is a mess. <laughs> I don't know. Virtua Fighter was huge in Japan, Dead or Alive, still Virtua Fighter's audience. 3D Fighter is dead except for Tekken Soul Calibur, which is almost as bad, and Dead or Alive, which is the best out of those, but people think it's just porn. I like Tekken. Tekken's fun. You never liked Half-Life? Half-Life 2 gives some of the worst 3D nausea, it seems. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry. Virtua Fighter is huge and has a hardcore fan base, which is why Street Fighter X Tekken has larger tournaments than it. <laughs> I didn't say it was huge. The real benchmark of interactivity is Duck Nuckum. Half Life 2 hits a brick wall after Ravenholm. Um, it kind of loses energy. You don't like multiple sections of the game being boring vehicle sections? The thing is, I don't- I didn't find that the boat or the car part of Half-Life 2 really that bad. I don't think those were like as bad as people always make them out to be. That's the thing everyone says with Half-Life 2. Oh, the boat part. I really don't think it's that bad. I think it's kind of fun, honestly. Half-Life 2 has horrid pacing and none of the weapons feel good apart from the gimmick gun. Yeah, the pistol sounds and feels like shit. It just sounds like somebody smacking a paper bag or something. <laughs> and the submachine gun feels really weak. I don't know, it's a weird feeling game. It was bigger than Tekken in the 90s for competitive play in Japan. And the best Tekken players had to compete in Virtua Fighter when Namco hired them as devs. This is frowned upon for devs to compete in their own games. Huh. It's like complaining about unfrosted cupcakes because you've had frosted ones. Except someone had to invent unfrosted cupcakes, so there were cupcakes to be frost. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think that's the matter though, because like, it's not like people dislike Doom because it's old. Like, Doom is very tightly designed. I think the Half-Life 2 is like, was dazzling at the time, but its design does not hold up in, like, at the time or in retrospect. I don't know. <laughs> the car part goes on for way too long. Half-Life 1 mods are still cool still. Should get back to playing them. Yeah, there are a lot of cool ones out there. USS Dark Star is cool. I remember trying to play Brain Bread. Or no, no, no. They they Hunger? Uh, on stream? Back when I used to be a normal streamer. <laughs> and it broke me. It was so hard. I used to think that. And then replaying those games, I realized they're like 5x longer than I remember every time. Yeah. Boat level is one of my favorites. I think the boat level is fine. I think they just made all weapons weak to so use the gravity gun more. Could be. Boat part is a lot of action in a boss fight. The cars just drive for five minutes, get out and unplug something, repeat like two more times. I don't like the car part nearly as much as the boat part. Doom is really fun to this day, IMO. Yep. Original Doom is amazing. It's a very playable game. Counter-Strike. Brain Bread. Brain Bread is a real Half-Life mod. It was a zombie mod. Look it up. Counter-Strike is cool. They Hunger was Pog. It was cool. They Hunger was your first stream as Nashter. Really? How far did you get in it? 
The first two episodes were very playable, but then the third one was like so fucking hard. I could not can finish it. Speedrunners invented accelerated bunny hops so we wouldn't have to do them ever again. <laughs> Played Doom recently and it holds up great? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? The Switch ports of Doom are really good too. Uh, it's nice to play on the Switch, like, uh, or I mean just like the that general family of like ports that's on every console. The Unity port. It's a good port, it's a good way to play Doom. I like to play it on my Switch and handheld. Hey Draconic Dude. Didn't they make a second Brain Bread? Yeah they did, came out five years ago. Huh. I had not heard about that. Obsidian Conflict is the only Half-Life mod you'll ever need. I don't even know what that is. You ever played the Thief games, Graffy? I tried to play the first one, but the the movement controls, I couldn't get used to them. I just kept getting the, the uh, keys all mixed up. In 10 years, everyone will have holodecks and people will be criticizing Alex only having three guns and focusing too much on how you can grab stuff off shelves. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't think it's a matter of people just looking back on old games, especially not like in a, a stream like this where people are criticizing Half-Life 2. Like, this is a stream full of people who are interested in like very clunky old games. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't think that. I don't think that's really the case. I don't know. Not PR Boom Plus. Yuck. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Played it on Switch too. Switch is so convenient. Yeah, it's nice to just play play handheld mode, and uh, watch a stream or something. Plays through like a level or two. It's Warcraft Three custom maps for Half Life Two. Sounds chaotic. There's also some awesome games and mods based on Doom and GZ Doom. Yeah, like Doom the Golden Souls and Adventure, Adventure of Square, and there's all kinds of stuff. There's like that mod Guncaster, where you play as a dragon, you can cast spells and stuff. It's really cool. Did Mocha ever finish Thief? I don't know. I think he was playing it on YouTube, wasn't he? I, I didn't catch that, because I don't really watch YouTube streams. People call Half-Life 2 the end of the generation, but not much actually followed in its footsteps. Hmm. People really talked up VR as the future of gaming. And now look who was right. Me. That's right. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> right about what? What did you what what did you say that was right? There's a small VTuber who streams a lot of boomer PC RPGs. You like watching her play Thief a month or two back? Huh. It's uh, It seems like a cool game. I liked what I saw of it. It was just very difficult to control, even for me. VR sucks. I've never, I've never tried it. I have no opinion on VR. Seems maybe like overrated, but... It's cool that VR exists, but it was never going to be the future of games, yeah. It's too expensive. No one's ever going to buy that shit. And they keep making new headsets for it, like, every fucking 20 minutes. I would have thought Guncaster would be a game about making guns. Not nah. Play as, like, a red dragon guy, and you've got huge, ridiculous guns, and you can cast spells. That's cool. Super hot VR is amazing. People have been saying VR is the future for like the past decade and the tech is just around the corner. It seems like VR chat is like the only thing it's good for. There's too many factors that can hinder someone's ability to play VR games for it to become a standard. What do you mean? Just it's not accessible. Your biggest problem with VR is you have a bad neck, you have a disc that's been replaced, etc. So using your head as the camera seems awful to you. Yeah, it seems like it's probably heavy too. Any day now someone's going to make the VR game where you stand still and shoot targets moving toward you that'll blow all the other ones out of the water. <laughs> VR chat is rad. Yeah, it seems cool. I'd like to try it someday. Just don't know anybody who has a VR headset. Can't really play VR with your friends unless you are all rich and have tons of space. Yeah, it's also, it does take up space. It's got wires and stuff. I couldn't play it around my rabbit or she'd fucking eat the cables. see like in Beat Saber. It looks, it looks stressful for some reason. VR chat the only game to make you interested. 
You want to be cute? Well, I'm sure you're cute. But I understand the impulse. Same. Don't really care about being immersed in games. I just want to go to the wired. Yeah, exactly. I want to be a Toho character that's like three feet tall or something. Still mad they're releasing an Oculus Go that doesn't require Facebook and it's an extra $500. <laughs> Paying a premium to not have your, your uh, personal information sucked up by Facebook. And they'll probably just still do it anyway. I want social media where I can stick my virtual hands in someone's face if they're too annoying. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to fit your glasses in those things. Big glasses. <clears throat> Paying 500 to have it sucked up in the shadows, yeah. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> Facebook has got to be like one of the most crooked companies in the entire world. There's no way they're not just like doing it in spite of that. when the Facebook VR is lit. <laughs> There's a couple really cute VR chat models. Yeah, it would be fun to make them, but you can't really do it without the VR shit. Mark Zucky Bucky. Seems like it would be fun to just go on there and talk to random ass people, but probably end up with the same problem as like talking to random people in real life is that most people are <laughs> like unhinged and have some kind of weird fixation they want to tell you about. I think it's funny they try to distance their products now. It's just Messenger, not Facebook Messenger, now since they have a bad rep. Mark smoking meat Zuckerberg. Sweet baby rays. You should make a version of VR chat that lets you fight random people with your fists. <laughs> I think that's called going outside and attacking people. when you pay 1,000 bucks to let Zuck have all your fetishes saved his server. <laughs> You're too awkward to talk to people in VR chat. I mean, I'm too awkward to talk to people in real life, but the layers of anonymity makes it seems like it would make it fun to just talk to, talk to people, just say anything. I get tempted to play like multiplayer shooters and just go on and say shit to like weird gamer guys. <laughs> just try to get a rise out of them. VR chat with PvP. VR chat, but it zaps you if you get bonked in game. Graffy is a troll. Like, I think it's morally right to troll people in a game like Call of Duty or something. <laughs> yeah, you should. It's the best way to play them. <laughs> Graffy, do that in COD. I would if COD wasn't like over a hundred gigabytes for like any game now. I'm not gonna fucking do that. I'm not gonna give that kind of real estate on my hard drive to a damn game. Graphy Warzone stream. No. <laughs> no. See, just so much more fun when you just like make fun of the guys trying to be toxic at you. <laughs> Sounds cool. Well, I probably should get going now. I need to go to the store still. First Modern War was a good game though. Yeah, I like Modern Warfare 1 and 2 at the time. Questionable story aside, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. And uh, I'm glad we finished this game, it was cool. I liked it a lot, quite a bit even. Um, yeah, if you want to watch Siren, I'll be doing that on Wednesday. I promise. <laughs> uh, we'll actually make some progress again. Whoop. I'm big. Kamige, godlike game. Yeah, I would agree, a good game. Acquire cabbage, but preferably don't become involved in a murder mystery. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Wednesday will turn into a Shenmue stream. No! <laughs> Graffy when she pretends she's going to play Siren again. <laughs> Shut up. I'll really do it, I promise. Anyway, though. Um, yep. Yeah, have a nice night, and uh, take care. See you later.
I'm not gonna delay the siren stream again. <laughs>